Sometimes I forget that he's a war dog. That'll teach me. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you are ready to join me for the continued adventures of Twitch chat. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening, welcome to all of you. Hopefully you're all having a lovely day. The Neverwinter video made me sad. Like, I'm sad now. It's... I've got to be honest. I've got to be... <laughs> Should we just... Let's just take a minute and see who's new in the chat, because you'll be able to tell. You'll be able to tell immediately who's new, if this is their first time kind of hanging out with us, because they'll react to the face. That's what it'll be. That's exactly what it will be. As soon as the, all the new people, as soon as we have a cutscene in the game, you can tell who's new, because they just go, the fuck is that face? That's what it is. Hello, Mr. Hayes. Hello to you as well. Welcome to all of you. Imagine if I had a YouTube channel. Oh, imagine. That would be good. Chiseled jawline. Yeah, I mean, look, the guy could, his jawline is a chisel. He could use his chin as if he can stab people with his face. That's what he can do. Man, I, uh... Okay, Neverwinter made me sad. It did. I enjoyed it as a game. I still do. The The combat's still good, but the, the gameplay... The gameplay is a big no. It, it, the, the, the cash shop is terrible. The cash shop is just absolutely dire. No one should ever have to uh, deal with a cash shop that bad. It, it's, it's not good. It's not good at all. Right, so what are we doing in Dragon Age? Uh, for those of you who are brand new, we are doing the regular, not necessarily the, the loathering stuff, we don't need to be there anymore, the Blight, the Isle of Redcliffe, that's what we were doing. We were going to the Isle of Redcliffe, because we need to get the Isle of Redcliffe, we need to get the Orcs, we need to get all of the, the Dalish clans, and we need to get the mages joining us as well. That's what we need to get. All these people need to join us. So we'll start off with the Isle of Redcliffe, we'll make you the active quest, we'll pop off. And we'll start our journey. Let's gather our party. Now, the party is very, very, very specific. Okay? We're taking Alistair and we're taking Morrigan. Because half of this entire playthrough is just listening to their banter. That's all it is. Okay? We're going with Alistair. We're going with Morrigan. Because those two have got some serious bants going on. Okay? That, he is the Archbishop of Banterbury. That's what he is. And she drives the Bantmobile. That's why we need them together. Okay? Together, they are the Bantosaurus Rex of this team. And then we also take Sten, because someone needs to do some damage. That's the best way to do it. What about Dogkin? Dogkin is a good boy, so Dogkin can chill out. I am coming because I am the face of the team, and Alistair and Morrigan are funny to listen to, and Sten is also here because someone needs to be useful at some point. That's what we need to do. Right, let's keep it going. Best YouTuber at the moment without a shadow of a doubt. Well, thank you very much, duh. Thank you. I do try. My was it good Pokemon video is being worked on repeated. I'm trying so hard to get that out. Yeah, Sten is the adult. These are the two children, and I just happen to be here as well. So let's do this. Okay, we're going to pop off to Redcliffe. We're going to start our journey here. Oh, we seem to have got in some kind of combat, some kind of confrontation. Oh, I see. What's, uh, what's going to have happened? Oh. Right, we've uh, we've got a bit of a old Tegrins going on. What's what's happened here? Have we we bumped into someone? Tegrin, what is what is wrong, sir? You have coins, stranger. The doors of Mark closed off. Old Tegrin can give you a discount. Tegrin could give me a discount. I mean, I see Tegrin. I I appreciate, it, but um, what's uh, what's going on in in Orzammar, Tegrin? What's happening? There's two things I'm here for: travel or trade. Understand? I see, Tegrin. Why are you not doing the thing where you? You this. Well, why? Why are you still there, not here, Tegrin? I need you speaking in my in my head, mate. Okay. You know what, Tegrin? I'm gonna leave you. We're gonna head off. We're gonna carry on. I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna save and reload super fast, like a professional. You guys are about to say professional Twitch streamer. You have no idea how how impressive, how impressed you're about to be. Okay. Here we go. I'm watching all the cutscenes, by the way. I need to tell you something. I um, should probably have told you earlier. What's going on, Alistair? Alistair, it's... I mean, I'm flattered, Alistair. I really am. But, um... I'm not going to like this, am I? You just pulled me aside. No voice audio. There should be. You guys should be able to hear this still. Give me a second. Okay. Let me... 
Let me work this out. Don't worry. I've, I've got a plan. Here's the plan. Okay. Don't worry. The plan is... Uh, the game is way too low. I'm changing that now. I'm changing that right now. I'm uh, slowly bringing it back in. Tell Crowley he needs to lighten up. <laughs> Voice is there but low. Well, don't worry. We're improving it right now. It's about to be a lot louder. But well, it should be a lot louder. Let's just switch around the properties. Oh, look at me doing all this really fast and stuff. How about now? How about... How about now? You should be able... Let's just chat to... Uh, let's chat to Alistair, see how he's going. This might be a bit too loud, so we'll just... We'll, we'll find the right thing. Saved, see? We saved it. Celeste, thank you very much. That's very kind of you. Okay, let's just... Uh, quick save. If the game crashes, which it will, by the way, we will just reload. Alistair, how's it going, man? What do you need? Oh, that's very loud, Alistair. I need you to quieten down. Um, you know what? It doesn't matter. There we go. We can hear him now, though. He was loud. He sh loud is funny. Just really, just shouts, just yells. Morrigan, yes. Alistair, Sten. Yes. You guys should be able to hear that now. Let's do this. Off to Redcliffe Village we go. Maybe we'll bump into that trader again. We did. We bumped into the trader again. The game is from 2009. This game is old. Oh, no. There's, oh, no. This is not good. Okay, so we have tactical situations here. Genlock, Genlock Alpha. Another emissary uh, thing back there. No, that, that's a plant. We don't need to worry about the plant. Allow me to show you my tactical genius. You all ready for my tactical genius? Select everyone. Attack that dude. As you wish. Check me out with the tactics. I am very tactical. I am tactical-fied. See? Oh, I'm so glad that Sten does some damage. Everyone now attack you. So this is how combat... <laughs> military genius right here. This is how combat is going to go in this game. Let me explain. Every single encounter works the same way. First of all, we attack one enemy altogether. Then Alistair dies. That's exactly how it works. Alistair will always die every single combat phase. Sten will then probably drink something. So we should probably give Sten a little... Uh, ooh, a little lesser. We'll go the lesser health putis just there. We'll go the regular health putis. Beautiful. So, Stan, I want you to drink something, mate. You have to drink and all that. Continue attacking the big dude. Uh, Sun Tzu versus Josh Head. Sun, right. I've read The Art of War. Allow me to explain it to you. Because I know... Okay, so he's being healed by the emissary. What we should have done is kill the healer first. We didn't kill the healer first. And Oh, there we go. He's down. Morrigan, you need to drink a health potion. Uh, probably a lesser health potion because you're not worth a full health potion yet. Although I'll put the full health potion. If I die now, to anyone who's brand new to this stream, you might not be very impressed. But I need you to understand that I actually am very good at this game. Watch, I'll use an ability. You ready? See? Look at that ability usage right there. And now I'm going to attack. I've detected a trap. See? Look at this. Look at that. See? Look at that detection right there. That is a trap detected. It's gone away now. Morrigan's doing good. Morrigan might die. Never worried. Never, ever worried. Why am I not controlling one of the characters? I mean, I am. I'm just controlling them in Baldur's Gate style view. Look, see? We did great. Oh, there was a trap just there. Who's dead? Oh, of course, it's um, it's Morrigan. She's back up now. Beautiful. Never any doubt in my mind that we were going to achieve. Trap triggered. Well, you've got to trigger a trap every now and again, haven't you? Let's just uh, loot all of this. And then we'll carry on. We're going to... Uh, to Red Cliff, weren't we? That was it. What's over here? There's a little arrow. There's an X on the map. What's that? Oh, that's the... We can't go that way. This is the world map. Trust the plan. Trust the plan. Trust the plan. Why would I not use one character, use all the powers? I could do. Ah, here we go. This is the... This Look, is the... can we talk for a moment? Alistair. I need to tell you something. I um, should probably have told you earlier. Alistair, you can always talk to me. What is on your mind? I am an open ear. Pour your mind into my open ear. Well, uh, let's see. How do I tell you this? We're almost at Redcliffe. Did I say how I know Arl Eamon exactly? You didn't. Uh, no, why? Uh, I hope this isn't something bad. Uh, no. Why would you think that? Wait, don't answer that. Just let me finish. I'm a bastard. My mother was a serving girl at Redcliffe Castle, and she died when I was born. Our Lehman took me in and raised me before I was sent to the Chantry. The reason he did that was because, well, because my father was King Marrick, 
which made Kaelin my half brother, I suppose. You. You're the heir to the throne. Maker's breath, I hope not. I don't think so. You don't think so, do you? I'm a bastard. And, and nobody even knows about me. I, I would have told you, but it never really meant anything to me. I was inconvenient, a possible threat to Kaelin's rule, could and so they kept me secret. The king. I'd never talked about it to anyone. Everyone who knew either resented me for it or they coddled me. Even Duncan kept me out of the fighting because of it. I didn't want oh, you to know. Oh, that's why Duncan possible. kept you away because he didn't want you to die because you might I'm be sorry. king one day. Right, gotcha. Does does Logan know about this? Because Logan was the dick, wasn't he? Why wouldn't he? He was King Marek's best friend. I don't know if that means anything, though. I certainly never considered the idea that it might ever be important. Al Eamon eventually married a young woman from Orlay, despite all the problems it caused with the king so soon after the war. He loved her a great deal. Anyway, the new Arlesa resented the rumors which pegged me as the Arl's bastard. They weren't true, but of course they existed. The Arl didn't care, but she did. So off I was packed to the nearest monastery at age 10. Just as well. The Arlesa made sure the castle wasn't a home to me by that point. She despised me. Right, so you've got a bit of history going on here. Um, my real question among all of this, you know, the whole the heritage, the lineage, the kings, the royal blood, all that kind of stuff. How do you style your hair? Because it's very specific. It's not hair gel that hasn't been invented yet. It's not magic. It's not, like, blood or mucus from somewhere how do you do this alistair do you sleep like when you sleep do you sleep with your face face down on the ground and you dig like a little a little indent for your face and then you just kind of put your hair like that and when you when you wake up in the morning it's like that because of how you've been over night time right um yeah that's um i mean yeah, it does sound like an awful thing to do to a child. I'm sorry about that, Alistair. Maybe. She felt threatened by my presence. I can see that now. I can't say I blame her. She wondered if the rumours were true herself, I bet. I remember I had an amulet with Andraste's holy symbol on it. The only thing I had of my mother's. He just doesn't shower. I was so furious at being what? sent away, I tore it off and threw it at the wall. And it shattered. Stupid, stupid thing to do. The Isle came by the monastery a few times to see how I was, but I was stubborn. I hated it there and blamed him for everything. And eventually he just stopped coming. Yeah, but, but like, yeah, but like, you are an heir to the throne. You know, that, that, that is a thing. Let's hope not. I'm the son of a commoner and a Grey Warden to boot. It was made very clear to me early on that there was no room for me raising any rebellions or such nonsense. And that's fine by me. No, if there's an heir to be found, it's Al Eamon himself. He's not of royal blood, but he is Kaelin's uncle. And more importantly, very popular with the people. Right. So there you have it. Now can we move on? And I'll just pretend you still think I'm some nobody who was too lucky to die with the rest of the Grey Wardens. Yeah, I mean, aren't you? <laughs> See? I knew you could do it. It's easy, isn't it? It is easy to think that you're useless, Alistair. I mean... I'm going to be honest, I don't have to use that much of my acting skill to pretend that you are completely and utterly useless, seeing as you just got your foot stuck in the floor, apparently. You're a bloody genius, Alistair. Never forget, you are literally here for comic relief. Okay? Sten does the fighting, Morrigan's attractive, you are here because you've been here from the start. You are grandfathered into this campaign. Right? <laughs> the only reason we've not found someone else is because it would be more difficult to find someone else. Okay? Right, let's... Let's go into this Redcliffe village thingy. Hello, Thomas. I thought I saw travellers coming down the road, though I scarcely believed it. Have you come to help us? I mean, I, yeah, I... What, why? Is there a problem? So you... you don't know? Has nobody out there heard? Thomas, you have the exact chin that I want. How much would it cost for us to trade chins? Uh, what, what are you talking about? What's, what's going on? We're under attack. Monsters come out of the castle every night and attack us until dawn. 
everyone's been fighting. And Good dying. Tracks, let me grab that for you. Apparently, everyone seems to agree that a blight is the perfect time to start killing each other. Marvelous, really. We've no army to defend us, no Arl, and no king to send us help. So many are dead, and those left are terrified they're next. No Arl? What happened to Arl Eamon? What is going on? He's deathly ill. And we don't even know if he's still alive. We haven't heard from the castle in days. I should take you to Ban Tegan. He's all that's holding us together. He'll want to see you. Ban Tegan, our Lehman's brother. He's here. Yes. It's not far, if you'll come with me. Yeah, I mean, sure, why not? We'll uh, pop over with nothing else to do. Petrax, I'll grab you the VIP thing, don't, you? don't worry about that. I will sort that out for you. Alright, so pop over and see some dude. Hey, how's it going, man? It's Thomas, yes? And who are these people with you? They are obviously not simple travelers. No, my lord. They just arrived, and I thought you would want to see them. Well done, Thomas. Greetings, friends. My name is Tegan, Ban of Rainosphere, brother to the R. I remember you, Ban Tegan, though the last time we met, I was a lot younger and covered in mud. Covered in mud? Alistair? It is you, isn't it? You're alive! This is wonderful news! Still alive, yes. Though I'm just as surprised about that as you are, believe me. Indeed. Loghain would have us believe all Grey Wardens died along with my nephew, amongst other things. Okay, who redeemed VIP? I'll grab that for you right now. There we go. You can, like I've always said, you can absolutely tell who is new to the stream because the first chat, because I can see when people chat for the first time, everyone's first chat is, OMG, what is wrong with your face? Nothing's wrong with my face, okay? Josh, your vest covers your nipples. I'm aware of this. It's very specifically chosen, okay? Very specifically chosen combo. I do it on purpose. Even on days when I don't wear a vest, I wear a very tiny vest bikini, okay? It's like a single thread over my shoulders and around the midriff with a little circle of, of fabric, okay? It's there. I've got the only one in the world. I made it myself. See? Because even when I go to the beach, that's what I wear. A vest kini. Okay? A nipple thong, as many people would say. I look forward to this appearing on the Clip channel in about two or three weeks' time. And I look forward to the absolute lack of context people will watch it with. Patent that. You think I haven't already patented it, okay? Isn't a vest bikini just a bikini? No, because it's made of vest material. Okay? That's what it is. Right, so, um, hey, what's, uh, yeah, what is, what has Loghain said about us? Loghain is the, the, the traitor, wasn't he? So what does Loghain say? That Loghain pulled out his own men in order to save them. That Caelan risked the entire nation's safety in the name of glory. Loghain calls the Grey Wardens traitors, murderers of the king. I don't believe it. It is an act of a desperate man. So, like you him. are a Grey Warden as well? Is it possible we've met? You seem very familiar. Uh, you may know my father, Terran Cooland. Ah, yes, that's it, exactly. A pleasure to meet you indeed, though I wish it were under better circumstances. You're here to see my brother. Unfortunately, that might be a problem. Eamon is gravely ill. No one has heard from the castle in days. No guards patrol the walls, and no one has responded to my shouts. The attack started a few nights ago. Evil things surged from the castle. We drove them back, but many perished during the assault. Josh, you are smart, and uh, let, let's not say things we were going to regret later. And I feel like when you interact that you are just doing it out of tradition, and thus it shows on your face at times. Sovereign, I'm, I'm just tenacious, okay? There's a... People think that you're smart when you succeed. It's just a numbers game. I've failed more times than I can possibly remember. And when I succeed, people go, Oh my goodness, you're so smart. I'm like, nope, just stupid and refusing to give up. That's pretty much what it is. Okay, I'm not actually smarter than anyone else. I'm just in a position to be able to keep trying stuff until something eventually works. And then people go, Oh, you must be so clever. No. Nope. No. No, I've, I've, I'm, I've just been dumb long enough that some of the dumb stuff has worked, and people then go, 
you're very smart. And I look back and I kind of go, yeah, that thanks. That that's good. Thanks. Five head move. Yeah. I mean, look at it. I have a thing. I'll share a thing with you guys. I have a thing where sometimes I forget the names of things, and I have to do this really quick thing to think of descriptive words to you know, describe what I want really quickly. So earlier, I was in the kitchen, and I wanted my partner to pass me a small plastic bag from a drawer. Because we have a, a drawer full of little tiny kind of like food bags that we put food that we haven't eaten into, and then put it in the fridge. And I, I wanted to say, could you pass me a bag from the bag drawer? But I forgot the word for drawer. So I just said, could you please pass me a bag from the... And then my brain just went quickly, think of something that would work. And I thought, the drawer is a small square box. You know what's also a small square box? A coffin. And it is in the kitchen side. So I said, could you please pass me a bag from the kitchen side coffin? And she looked at me and like, what are you on about? I'm like, you know what I mean. And she opened the drawer and I'm like, it's... My head connected these things together. Okay? And it worked. So sometimes I will forget the name of things, but I will work out ways to... Uh, to specifically describe them using other words, and it makes sense. Describe them in the shape. Yeah, there you go. The shape of them. I <laughs> opened the drawer and the body's rolled out. Okay, so, the attack started a few nights ago. That's awful, but I need to talk to Arl Eamon, so maybe I can help you drive them back. There are no darkspawn here, and nothing to gain. It is a fool's errand. Um, I'm, I'm sorry, who asked you? Like, your job is to follow me and do what I say. Look at that chin. That chin is in charge. Okay? Right, if there's a, if there's a chance to rescue the Arl, we kind of have to try and take it. Yet helping these humans does nothing of the sort. How pointless to help these villagers fight an impossible battle. One would think we had enough to contend with elsewhere. Thank you. Thank you. This means more to me than you can guess. Thomas, please tell Murdoch what transpired. Then return to your post. I mean, I... Yes, my lord. Like, I haven't Now then, agreed. there is much to yep. do before night falls. I put two men in charge of the defense <sighs> outside. Murdoch, the village mayor, is outside the Chantry. Sir Perth, one of Eamon's knights, is just up the cliff at the windmill, watching the castle. You may discuss with them the preparations for the coming battle. I mean, yeah, fine. Very well. Luck be with you, my friend. I'm gonna be real, mate. My preparation is left-clicking and dragging to select everyone, and then just right-clicking on the enemies until they all die. That's that's pretty much the plan, and I'm going to see how I'm well scared, that mother. goes. Caitlin, you I'm look scared, sad. Father. Tell me why you are what sad, are Caitlin. Sorry. Am I bothering you? I'll, I'll try to be more quiet. Are you... Why are you crying? Those... Those things dragged my mother away. I don't know what happened to her, but... I hear her screaming all the time, everywhere. And now my brother Bevan, he, he ran off. I, I don't know where he is. I'm so scared they got him too. Now, now, child. If it's any consolation, your mother is probably dead. Therefore, she is not suffering. I mean, uh, have, have you tried looking for your brother? I went to her house. It's by the square. He wasn't there. I searched the rest of the village too. I called and I called, but he never answered. I wonder if he ran off into the woods. I'm so worried. Without me, he has nobody. You need to work on your posture. You need to stand up strong. You need to live, laugh, love. You need to drink more water. You need to go outside. You need to get off social media. That's what you need to do. Okay? Positive mental mindset, girl. You're letting... You're losing the mental battle already. That's the problem. Fine, don't worry. I'll, I'll, I'll go and find for him. I'll solve everyone's problems. You will. Thank you so much. Please find him. But night is coming. Don't worry. You get yourself some lavender oil or some essential like herbs or whatever. And uh, we'll, we'll do that. What is that smell? Fish? And something else. Oh, more fish. Mor Morrigan, you got, a, you got a witty retort to the fish? Morrigan has no, not got a witty retort memory. to the fish. That's a and shame. Numbers just you know what you were talking Hey, Murdoch, you're in charge of, like, your defenses, aren't you? So you're the Grey Warden, are you? I heard they all died with the king. Ah, uh, well, you heard wrong. So you say. A damn Kunari could walk up and say he was a Grey Warden. I wouldn't know the difference. That much is clear. 
We aren't gonna turn aside anyone who wants to help, though. Don't take me for being an ingrate or nothing. Well, we do want to help however we can. You can trust us. Name's Murdoch, mayor of what's left of the village, providing we aren't all killed and hauled off to the castle tonight. Apparently he voices Batman in his spare time. You can call me Twitch Chat. Fair enough. What can I do for you? Um, what, what can I do to help? I'm here. What do you need? We need what little armor and weapons we got repaired, and quickly, or half of us will be fighting without either. Owen's the only blacksmith who can do it, but the stubborn fool refuses to even talk. If we're to be ready for tonight, we'll need that crotchety bastard's help. All right, cool. Why does Owen not want to help? Why is he refusing to talk to you? His daughter, Valena, is one of the Alessa's maids, so he hasn't heard from her since this whole business started. He demanded we attack the castle, break down the gate, and force our way in. I said it was impossible, but he wouldn't listen. He's locked himself in the smithy now. I can't force him to do repairs. He said he'd rather die first. I mean, I can, I can make that happen. I'll see what I can do. I'd appreciate it. If he doesn't help, he'll die like the rest of us. What good will that do anyone then? Sovereign, I know, a thousand people are watching an, an old game. Right, so let's, let's go have a chat to this blacksmith dude, shall we? A uh, village under siege, was that the one? Talk to the stubborn blacksmith. Where are you, Mr. Stubborn Blacksmith? If I was a stubborn blacksmith, where would I... Smithy! It's literally right there in front of me. Fantastic. Hey. Hey, blacksmith. How's it going? Go away. So I shall. Curse you! Leave me in peace! You've already taken everything out of my stores. There's nothing left. No, it's... It's as Owen, the blacksmith. I need to speak with you. Oh? Huh? Who is that? What do you want? I've been through enough. I prefer not to speak through a door. Can I come in? Certainly not. I don't know you and I don't want to. Off you go. We need to talk about repairs for the militia, mate. That's so. Well, if Murdoch wants more weapons, you can give him the same answer I did. He can make them himself. Please, come on, mate. I just want to talk to you. Mm. All right, all right. But I don't know why you're so determined. Here. Yeah. I'll get the locks. I'm determined because if you don't talk to me, we'll all die. Thank you very much for subscribing, by the way. Remarkably kind of you all, guys. I'm trying not to talk too much when the in-game chat is playing, because I'm really getting involved in the story, and I want you to all share the story with me as well. Somebody's been drinking. So I let you in. You wanted to talk. Now we're talking. Mind telling me who you are? Alistair is very camp, and I like that. Uh, they call me Twitch Chat. Anyhow, my name's Owen, though you might already know that. Care to join me as I get besotted? Or is there something in particular you wanted? I will happily have a drink with you, mate. Um, oh, there is no, there is no, yeah, let's just get drunk option. That's a real shame. Okay, that is a real shame. The militia really need your help, mate. Why should I help Murdoch when he won't help me? Hmm? My girl, Valena, is one of the Alessa's maids and she's trapped up there in the castle, but the mayor won't send anyone for her. She's been my life since my wife passed on two years ago. Now she's dead, or soon to be. I don't care what happens to me or the village or anyone. Right. So you're going to just drink yourself to death? Why not? It's not like we're going to live past the night anyhow. Or are you going to save us? Oh, yeah, that, that was the plan. Yes, I actually am. Is that so? Hmm. Maybe it's the drink talking, but you almost sound like you believe that. Tell you what. If you want me to do repairs for Murdoch and his men... Promise me you'll go into the castle and find my daughter. I promise I will do that. Not good enough. Murdoch said the same damn thing, and I didn't believe him either. You are asking a great deal, you wretched little man. I want to promise. Promise me that you'll look for her. That you'll bring her back to me if you can. Right. Someone's just made a very good point in the chat. Do we really want the drunk blacksmith repairing our armour? Is this really the guy that we want to put in charge of making sure all the equipment we're using is up to scratch? Like, 
is, are we really looking at this dude and going, that's the guy. That's the guy we want fixing everything. You know what, mate? I promise I will find her. I'll accept that. It's something to hope for, at least. Oh, lovely. Shall we next begin rescuing kittens from trees? Yes. Is this a promise we will not keep? Let's hope not. What's this? I said nothing to you, human. Right then. It seems I have some work to do relighting the forge, and I suppose I'll have to find some iron. Hmm, maybe at the mill. Oh, Murdoch just better send his men here as soon as possible if I'm going to get to all these repairs and get them done by nightfall. If you need anything done, well, just let me know. Uh, ten wind. Equipment do taking now, durability so damage. Have to excuse me. Equipment taking durability damage just annoys me because it doesn't actually add any gameplay. It just slowly limits the amount of gameplay you can do. It's it's not like no one has ever got some. The question was, you know, which completely functional mechanic do you despise? Have you ever been playing an MMORPG and something is broken and you've gone, "Hey, brilliant! Something's broken." Yeah, that means I get to go and fix it. That means I get to do the 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 amazing fixing game. I get to go and buy the thing from the shop that fixes things, that uses my gold, and then I get to use the thing to fix the thing that I had only five minutes ago, and now it works again. It's like a repair hammer. It's dumb. Right, okay, so you want me to go and um, get your daughter back. Pretty much, I can get your daughter back. I'll let this dude know that I've, I've sorted the problem. Hey, hey, hey. Murdoch, I've sorted the problem by making a promise I do not intend to keep. Well, it looks like Owen's finally doing the repairs we need. The damn fool is falling over a drunk and still manages to make smithying look easy. Good enough, I say. I'll send one of my men to inform Bantigan the militia is ready for battle. Alright, cool. So, um, yeah, we're not only ready, Murdoch, we're going to win this battle. Guarantee it. We'll do our best. We'll fight until we can't fight anymore, however long that is. Brilliant. I've still got to speak to Sir Perth. You'll find him and his men at the mill by the bridge, to the north. Right. Let's hope we see morning. Mate, we'll be fine, alright? Don't you worry about it. I've pretty much got all my team on me. In fact, let's just chat to the team. How am my team feeling? It's Morrigan, how are you feeling? What do you wish of me? Just want to ask you something about stuff. If you must. How do you... Do you like... Do, do you like food? Don't worry, I, uh, I, I I chickened out, guys. I chickened out, I couldn't do it. I tried. I tried, I failed. It was not good enough. When we think of something worth saying to her, we'll say it to her, but until then, I'm just making a fool of myself. Talk to Sten. Sten, what do you think about all this uh, other stuff, mate? Why are we stopping? I just I just want to, want, to, want to talk to you for a moment. We're working together, mate. I thought I should get to know you. There are dark spawn to be fought. Is this delay needful? I... Are you all right, mate? You were in the cage for a long time. You are concerned. No need. I am fit enough to fight. Uh, the ten win, the one where nothing is balanced and just everything is random. Because the, the thing with balancing every single class is it homogenizes all the classes. The thing... What you need to do is have classes that are strong and weak at different things. So instead of having... 10 classes that all do exactly the same thing. I've tried to explain this before as far as game design goes. Your game design needs to have a core story. And the core story needs to be playable and achievable by every single class. And then you need to have much more difficult content off to the side of the story. And that needs to be challenging and requires certain builds of classes and certain things that all work together. So your class should not in any way impede you from experiencing the actual core story or experience of the game. And you should be able to do every dungeon on like normal mode. When it gets to more difficult and more challenging and more elite content, that's when you need to have situations that require different team builds, different specific skills, different, um, yeah, different abilities to go through. So look at Final Fantasy XIV. You can play the entire core story with any class. However, when you try and do the savage dungeons and the kind of the really difficult stuff, that's when you need more specific build-ups of things. So like 95% of your content should be doable by anyone. And then the unbalancing 
should be what makes the 5% content possible or not possible. Yeah, every class should be capable of beating all the content on normal mode. It's only when you start making the content extremely difficult that you need to start having a look at the unbalancing stuff to it. Uh, you are concerned. No need. I am fit enough to fight. Well, you know what, mate? You have a good day. As you wish. Thanks. You are fun. Alistair, he's probably fine. I don't need Why to chat to here? him to know that he's okay. Excuse me? Obviously you are no priestess, but shouldn't you be running a shop or a farm somewhere rather than fighting? You think to tell me my place, Kunari? You are very brave. It is not done. But it is done. Do not be such a blind fool. I speak the truth. It is not I who is blind. Look around you then. You see women throughout this land, fighters and majors both. That has yet to be proven. Which? That they fight? Or that they are female? Either. So I am not truly a woman to you, hmm? It is good to know. Stop it, you two. Okay? We need to save the world together, right? We need to be good. We need to save the world. Why is there a landmark tree up here? I wish to explore the landmark tree. It's... How do I get there? Like, there's a special... Mag it's on the map. There's a special magical tree up there. But I have literally no clue how you're actually meant to get there. Let's just run around the side and see if it's maybe down here. These maps are somewhat confusing. It is definitely not this way. You do not go that way to get to the windmill. Are there steps to the windmill? Okay. Are there steps to the windmill specifically? Magical windmill bringing steps. Let's just... Maybe it's around here. Oh, hang on. Yep, yeah, it's fine. Ignore me. I found a path. Read the chat. We're trying to help you. Flame, trust me, mate. If you're, ex if you're expecting this to be like a... A smooth, easy run where I take advice. You're in the wrong stream, okay? You are in the wrong stream. I guarantee I'm going to make this specifically difficult. And if, if someone offers me a really good piece of advice, I will probably not take it. Because I know that if I do take it, I don't need to go into that house. If I do take it, the stream will be less eventful. Do other DLCs? Go on about All of them. How stupid I am. I'm not stupid. Am I? If you need to ask the question. Because it hurts my manly feelings, you know. Or one of them. <laughs> then I'll be sure to write you an apology once all of this is over. I was educated by the Chantry. I studied history. They don't make stupid Templars. Then I must have been mistaken. <laughs> I'm very impressed. No, you're not. You're not even listening to me. My. You are smarter than you look after all. Your Chantry must have been very proud. <laughs> Morrigan is just sarcasm. Just pure sarcasm. And Alistair, bless him, he tries, okay? He really does try. Hello, Sir Perth. I am here to save you and everyone else. Greetings, Grey Warden. I am as relieved as Ban Tegan is to see you here. I must admit that I do not quite know how to address you. Is my lord sufficient? Um, I don't really care what you call me, to be honest. Call me Grey Warden, for that's what I... Call me Twitch Chat. I am Sir Perth, until recently in direct service of Arl Eamon of Redcliffe. For now, my charge is defending the village from these evil assaults. Would that I had chosen not to seek out the urn of sacred ashes. Perhaps I would have fended off whatever evil befell the castle. Or perhaps I would be dead. Ah, oh, well. That's us. <laughs> yes, it is. Fence. Perhaps all is not lost. Right. Is there anything you need me to do to help you? We have sufficient armor and weapons, but my knights are too few to stand against the monsters without assistance. Perhaps you could approach Mother Hannah in the Chantry for some holy protection against these evil creatures. Otherwise, I do not know what else you could provide beyond like... your own talents. Oh, Whereas goodness me, Blum, thank you very much for the, uh, the gifted subs. That's remarkably kind of considered. you. Thank you very much for gifting all the subs out. That is incredibly kind of you. Gifting out uh, 10 subs. You gifted out 20 in total. Thanks, man. Like, this dude is saying, hey, can we get some holy assistance? Why haven't you just asked for that? Why do you need me to do this? Okay? Fine, I'll go and see what I can do. That gladdens my heart to hear it. Anything else? No, nothing comes to mind. If you have not spoken to the mayor, Murdoch, you should. His militia is far more in need of aid than we are. Right, all right, carry on. 
As you wish, Grey Warden. Make a watch over you. Like, I don't understand. They're like, oh, it would be really useful if we could have some extra blessing of the Chantry. Oh, if only someone could ask for a blessing from the Chantry. You could ask for that. You could literally walk up to the Chantry and be like, hey, so you know all those raids that have been happening and everyone's been dying and, you know, we're going to stand and defend you. Be super convenient if we had some kind of holy blessing to help us. You don't need me to do this for you. This is not exactly a thing that you couldn't have done yourself. But fine. I will solve every problem in the one. Do the stone prison. I will do as many as I can. Yeah, it's first time in RPG. It's just pointless. Where's the woman? Listen. Listen, mother woman. You Let need to pray. bless people. You are a stranger amongst us, yet you still agree to defend our village in its darkest hour. We are most grateful to you. Yeah, that's what RPG heroes do. Uh, I need you to do a thing for me. Yeah, I'm. Be, be grateful when we win the battle. I will be grateful of your attempt, even if it fails. We can ask no more. Allow me to introduce myself. I am revered Mother Hannah, head of this chantry, which for the moment is a place of refuge for these poor villagers. They are terrified of tonight's attack, and I fear these walls will not keep them safe. What can I do to help with your task? Did no one stop Josh and the character creation engine? No, no one did, which is exactly why this character is called Twitch Chat. Okay? This character's name is Twitch Chat. Because you created this. This is a monster of your own creation. Just deal with the fact your character looks like you. Thank you. That's all I've ever wanted someone to say. Okay? Right, uh, I want your Sir Perth needs some holy protection. I have done all I can for them. I pray for them each night and seek the Maker's forgiveness for their sins before they face their deaths. What Sir Perth seeks is something that is not in my power to give. Right, could you just, like, bless them? I can pray with them and give them my blessing. But Sir Perth wants me to call upon the Maker to shield them from evil. Well, can't you just tell him the Maker will watch over him? Morale is a powerful thing, you know. You mean you want me to let them think the Maker protects them in a real sense? I will not lie to them like that. Everyone is going to die unless you do lie to them like that. I cannot do it. I know that their own faith may inspire them, but these men need to find confidence on their own. I, I simply won't lie to them. Now, please. Let me tend to these poor folk. I must do what I can, and I suggest you do the same. I will do anything I can to help you. I need to lie. No. No. You are Meatloaf. He would do anything for love, but he won't do that. I will do whatever I can to help you. Could you tell these men something inspiring? B fuck off. No. Shan't. Right, okay, cool. Let's uh, let's go and let the dude know that he is getting absolutely no holy blessing whatsoever. Does Josh have naught skill points in persuasion? Look at me. Okay? People only say things that I want to hear, so I leave them alone. Okay, no one actually wants to talk to me. I don't want to be the backseater guy, but have you put points into coercion? Probably. Like... Look, because what I've probably done is I've probably put points into coercion and then not used them because that makes me feel bad. That's probably what I've done. Skills and talents. Twitch chat. So these are my my skills specifically. Where's the... It's skills and talents. Where's the other thing that we can do? Because this is the skills tree. Where's the other tree thing? Is it the skills here? Did we put points into coercion? I can't remember. We might. Oh yeah, there's one point in coercion. We could have done that. Where's persuasion though? I don't think we put points into persuasion. I should probably use coercion more than I am. But yeah. Because coercion is both persuasion and intimidation, isn't it? It's both of those things. You need to always invest in that in combat training. Right, I will go for that one. So we'll, we'll put more points into coercion as and when we can. Because then we can convince people to do stuff. I do need to set up some of the combat uh, kind of language thingies for the characters. You know how you've got the 
the things where you can set up what they do. Tactics, that's the one. I do need to set up some tactics because I've got a few things. So I'll set some tactics up and I might need your help with that to make the tactics as efficient. Because then what I can do is I can... I can control one character in combat and just hope that the other dudes are doing their own thing. That's the one we need to do. Paradigms, as I call them. I see. Coercion is persuasion. Hey, Sir Perth. The Knights of Redcliffe are ready to fight at your disposal. Can we just lie to it? Can we just lie? Can we just be like, hey, the mother's blessed you. You know, it's it's gone fine. You said you wanted some holy protection. Have you spoken to the revered mother? Has she offered anything? Yeah, yeah, she, she not, no, no, why can't I just lie? Why can't I literally just say, yeah, you, you, you protected? Why can't I lie? She does not believe she can help you. Bless this mess. No, not yet. Very well. I will wait for news on the matter then. Oh, right. Okay, well, I'm, I'm ready to make the stand. Yeah, let's just do this. I'm, okay, you and me, let's do this. There is still time before the sun goes down. If you have not yet spoken to Murdoch, or if there is anything you have planned... Uh, no. No. No real no real plans. Just more than happy to, to stand and fight now. Good luck to you, then. And may the Maker watch over us all. He will. I'm sure. Oh, spoopy darkness. Let's wait. What's wrong with your face? They're coming. Um. Get to your positions. Make ready. Oh, I see we're being attacked by smoke. Gotcha. Okay. You guys ready? Here we go. Any mod packs? Nope. You don't need mod packs. Just gonna quick save it here. All right. So we've quick saved. So I've pretty much committed to this now. Right, here we go. Oh, there they are. Let's wait for them to come to us, get a bit closer, and then just immediately attack. It's so Everyone on... The way you well, ah. missed you straight off. Okay, into tactical view. Everyone attack the other things. Come on. Everyone on one walking course. Remember, I'm playing on normal mode right now. So we should be able to survive this. What is wrong with your face with my chin? Hey, just because my chin is interesting, Another okay? I have an interesting chin. That's what I have. The reason I'm focusing, like, one enemy at a time is because that is often the most efficient way to get rid of enemies. You just completely focus one at a time, and it gets rid of the majority of enemies in one go. Just 100... Is Alistair dead yet? Oh, Alistair is amazingly still alive. That is really impressive. I genuinely didn't expect Alistair to still be alive. Top selecting everyone. Yeah, man. Just click, drag, attack. The crimson chin is back. Focus fire was a tried and true tactic. It is. Focus fire on one enemy at a time. If you split your fire over multiple enemies, what ends up happening is you nearly kill everything while taking a massive amount of damage. If you focus your fire, you definitely kill lots of things, which means stuff stops doing damage to you. That's the best way to do it. The shot on the leg does a stun. Oh, does it? I should probably do some more, more you know, kicking and leg ability in and stuff like that. Okay, so Alistair's taking damage, but I'm going to be honest, that's kind of to be expected by now. That's not, uh, not anything we weren't ready for. We've done that, we get back into attack. Why have I decided to attack that? Let's just get and drag and select everyone as usual. Oh, someone's decided to attack. Oh, there we go. Someone ran after Morrigan just there. We got him down. This is where channel healing and RPG shines. I've not played Dragon Age 2 yet. I've not finished 1, so we'll we'll finish 1 first. Then we'll get to 2 and see what happens. We're taking these walking corpses down pretty easily, to be honest. I really thought we'd have a harder time than this. But maybe with the, the knights that have been blessed, with focus, fire, no AoE damage, don't need it, Dom. Don't need it. Until I get to fights where, you know, it's way more difficult. The thing is, I know that um, the other dude has... Oh, I don't need the injury kit, Alistair. I need you to use a... a probably a potent health putis at this point, to be honest. I know the other dude, Sten, has some AoE stuff. And he should probably start using it. 
But I will look into tact after this fight. What we'll do is we'll look into tactics, okay? We'll finish this fight. We'll look into tactics. You can explain to me what the best tactical choice would be for the majority of things that we're doing. The voice actor was doing live recording for the streams. May just have some amazing AOE. We'll get there. Hey, that was easy. See, we did it. The monsters are attacking from the lake. They're attacking the barricades. We need help. I am literally right here. Okay, I am right in front of you. You do not need to shout. Come on, we need to hurry. Good Lord, man. Good God. He was a loud man. He's scared, though. Mum, come pick me up. I'm scared. That's what he said. Yep, now I'm downloading the game. Good. No mods, 100% vanilla. Tactics don't work if you select them all. Yeah, I know that, but I'm just going to use this. Right, come on, here we go. Let's go down here. We've got the basic militia dudes. Let's go. We don't need tactics as much as we need just everyone attacking a single dude at once. Here we go. All right, now we're all in. Now everyone's good. Alistair's not even dead? I never use tactics, just tell them what to do. Yeah, tactics are for... You don't need tactics. Tactics are for losers, okay? Tactics are for people who aren't able to click fast enough, which is easy because you can pause the game whenever you want to. If I could have one tank and just an absolute load of ranged damage dealers, I would do. That would be my makeup. I like how because we've armed the militia dudes, we've got... Wait, my goodness, thank you very much. Much respect for Neverwinter, worse than very much old yellow. Oh, it was... It hurt, okay? It hurt to do, but it's... I feel that it's... Criticising something you love is a transformative process, but it's not necessarily destructive. Okay? Transformative, but not destructive. It's totally possible to look at something that you love and critique it. In fact, if anything, it's important to do that. Just because I love something doesn't make it immune from being bad. That's what a lot of people seem to forget. People think if they love something, it's good. It's objectively good. Or you can just overlook the faults. No. I love many things, but I'm fully aware of the faults with them. You need to be willing and brave enough to tear down the media that you love. Because if you don't, no one ever... If you don't, no one will ever improve in any you know, meaningful way. Let's just click and grab everyone. We're doing pretty good here. We're not dying yet. I mean, I'm dying, but apart from that, we're okay. Right. I'm not meant to be in melee combat at all, to be honest. And it seems that we've lost pretty much all of our militia right now. Wherever I am, I need to not be in combat. So uh, I can attack this corpse just here with an ability. We might need to fall back. I think falling back is probably a good idea here. Leave the militia to do that. I'm going to fall back up the mountain. I'm going to run around to here because I do not want to be in combat. Oh, good. There's Morrigan. Fantastic. Yeah, we need to uh, to fall back pretty substantially right now. Let's have a look how the fight's going. See what I can see. You are the weakest. Stem. Oh, you need some health, Pootus, man. You need some healthy stuff. Why do we not have... Are we out of health stuff? This is not good. Okay, we're out of health stuff. This is fine. This is fine. This is a-okay. Right, this is not good. We are definitely not doing well. I'm dead. It's okay. It's okay. I'm dead. So is... Stem's going to be dead in a minute. Unless we get rid of that corpse. There's one militia dude. I think we're about to lose this fight. Now Josh learns he's not ready for this fight because it's not even half over. I think we might need to look in some tactics. I died before Alistair. Alistair is a solid tank. Right, uh, Morrigan, you need to do the spider thing. And then once you're a spider, I need you to do the whole spider attack thing. Come on, Morrigan. Do the spider attack. You and one militia, dude. We got this, guys. This is fine. Okay, we don't got this. We do not got this at all. We may need to load the last save. Which is going to be annoying, because I specifically quick saved before the start of this fight. Right, I see the... Okay, I see the problem that I've caused here. 
I quick saved at the start of this fight. Which means we need to get through this fight with what we've got. Okay, this this is what we need to do. We need to work on some tactics. I want you all to stop typing in the Twitch chat, okay? You are not helping. All right? Mistakes were made and it is fine. Set traps. You are not helping. Use spells. This is why you make incremental saves. Use spells. Right. None of you are helping this. Just don't die. Thank you. I'll follow that. So, I which character do I need to play as? Should I play as Morrigan? If I play as Morrigan, like, I can keep casting all of these spells. If I play... A, how about this? I've got an idea. Alright? This is going to sound dumb, but I've got an idea. I'm going to look at what every character has as, like, abilities and just start actually using them. I feel that will be a good idea. So... Me, attack, Morrigan, attack, but I have special skills. Stealth, that's not going to help now. Uh, dirty fighting, that's not going to help now. It's a, uh, it's a melee attack, that's uh, unfortunately. Below the belt, that's a thing as well. Dual striking, nope. Rapid shot, pinning shot, fantastic. So if I, if I put pinning shot on and then do rapid shot... Would that take that corpse down quicker? I mean, probably. Let's find out. Alistair, what can you do? Shield defense. While this mode is active, the character drops into a defensive, gains a bonus to defense, takes a penalty to attack. You know what? That's fine. Alistair, you're in shield defense mode. Morrigan, what you got? Oh, you've got... Let's attack you, the full one, but I want you to freeze them. See what happens. Okay, so she's frozen someone. Sven, what have you got going on here? Pommel strike. Instead of going for a fatal attack enemy expects, the player strikes up with the pommel, knocking them to the ground. So whoever you're attacking, Sven, attack this dude, but do a pommel strike. So he knocks them down. All right, let's well, knock them down. It's going better. Okay? It's going better. So I, I called him Sven. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Don't forget to use your chin for maximum damage. Should we set up some tactics? Right, so let's have a look at some tactics. This is the one. Self, any. So clear self, ally, enemy. So when we set tactics up, like what happens? Enable or disable this tactic. So I just want Sven to like attack people. If I put his behavior on aggressive, that means he should attack people at the same time. Do you have any healing spells? No, not yet. Make characters drink health potions. No, I think we'll be okay for the time being. Aggressive. Party member will attack enemies the moment they're visible. We'll fight back if attacked. Okay, that seems good. So we'll go with aggressive. So enemy health equals 25%. Use mighty blow. Target uses melee attacks under arms. Target condition. So he uses that, that, and that. So self. Health. Health. Less that. Health is... If health is less than 50%, then use health potis least powerful. That would work. I think that would work well. Okay. Make tactics so each person uses CC on cooldown. Put that on priority one. Can I click and drag? You can't just... Can I click and move around? Oh, you can. That's really clever. Okay, cool. So, first thing he does. I'm getting there. This is working, guys. We're going to do this. We're going to do this. Is there one where it's like, if, you know, ability on cooldown, then thing. Self, health, mana, stamina. Surrounded by enemies. Surrounded by no enemies. Being attacked by any type of attack. Being attacked by melee attack. If being attacked by melee attack, then use ability which one? Would that be the way to do it? May, what happened to your character's face? Nothing happened to my character's face. My character is perfect. Okay, don't even think that they're not. So, Mighty Blow, Pommel Strike, Sunder Arms, or Taunt. Which one do we want to do? Which one was Mighty Blow? That's good. What I basically need to do is just... Um, I need to set it up where, you know, if being attacked, use ability, use ability, use ability. Is there a way that you can just say use all abilities on cooldown whenever they can? Is there... A way that I can just click use all abilities 
oh, you have to manually set it up every single one. So, if health is less than 50%, use a health booties. If you are in combat, enemy, health, anything, combat, damn, self, has armor type, being attacked by type of attack. If being attacked by... Isn't there just being attacked by? Like, if if under attack, then use this. Enemy, any, action... I suppose enemy, enemy, action, whatever. And then we can just choose the thing. Attack. Enemy, any, attack. There's more spells than room and tactic slots. It's more so they never do anything you tell them to. Right, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. You can do, if health is 100% or less, use X, which is basically all the time. Right, so, self. Health. If health is... Less than 100%. Can we do that? We can't seem to do that. It's less than 100%. If in combat, use everything. That would be great. That would be what I want to do. If health is greater than 10%, I suppose. If health is greater than 10%, then... If health is greater... Health is less than 50. Health is less than 10. If health greater than or equal to 90%. If aggro... Is there an aggro one? That would be useful. I think it's pretty much if being attacked by... If being attacked by a melee or ranged attack, then use ability Mighty Blow. Would that use aggro equals being attacked? Yeah, okay. Use Mighty Blow. If being attacked by melee or range, use Mighty Blow. Will that just use Mighty Blow instantly? Or will that go over to the enemy and then use that? It should use it on the enemy. You could do enemy any on all the skills you want. The skills will be used as soon as they're off cooldown. Okay, cool. I like this. This is good. So if enemy equals any. Enemy any. Use mighty blow. Does that do an attack thing? Will that instantly attack? If just, just three mighty blows. If enemy equals any. Use Pommel Strike, Enemy, Any, Sunder Arms. Okay, so that should work in theory. That will use it right away. So, if health is less than 50%, drink a potion. If there are any enemies around, use all your abilities. Put percent health on enemy. It's a stun. Okay. I'm fine with Pommel Strike being used repeatedly. Just remember to save the preset. So we save this as Sten Custom 1. Okay. Sten Custom 1. We save that. Fantastic. You want to give Taunt to Alistair since he's a tank? Yes. We'll look into that next. So, Alistair. Oh, he's got 5. Sweet. I should probably put some more. Oh, that's why people say combat tactic and stuff. You don't want to use a stun on a 5% HP enemy. That's true. So, Sten. Um, which one was the stun? Was that Pommel Strike? So we'll change that one to Sunder Arms, and we'll change this one to Pommel Strike, but we'll do if enemy health is greater than or equal to 25%, then we will also stun them. Because there's no point stunning an, an enemy that's about to die. That's a really good point to do it. I like how Josh said we weren't helping, but look where you are now. Right, Echo. What's happened here? Let me explain this to you very simply. What's happened here is I have decided of my own free will to go through and learn the tactics system and you, all of you, just happen to have written the same things. Okay? That's what happens. That's what's happened here. I've done this. You've done that. I've looked. I've read back. It just so happens that we've said the same things. All right? It's spontaneous creation of the same thing. Shut up. What if an enemy decides to heal below 25%? Can you stop that with stun? Probably. Maybe. Maybe. Possibly. Enemy equals target of a party member equals hero attack. Makes them attack your character's target. Interesting. That would work. Will the game crash? Maybe. We'll find out. Okay, so. Uh, Twitch chat. I'm going to be controlling me, so I don't need to worry about that. Morrigan. Self-heal equals... Okay. So if Morrigan's health drops below 50%, she uses drain life. That sounds good. 
because Drain Life is a good spell. Surrounded by at least two enemies, she uses Mind Blast. Being attacked by a melee attack, she uses Horror. This, this is much... It seems like she's already actually done really well. Okay, so enemy health equals great, less than 50%. Winter's Grasp. Winter's Grasp is the one that freezes it. So that's pretty good. Like, that, that seems like she's actually already set up pretty well for this. Change the two because she'll never be surrounded. Okay, so enemy equals any. If there are any enemies... What should she do? Why is it red? Why is it going to red with that? Is that because it affects the enemy, not affects you? So it's more of a combat thing. Make the drain life activate below 75% so it doesn't stay on cooldown. Okay, cool. So drain life is... Which one's that one? Below 75%. So health is less than 75%. Okay, cool. That's good. Red is for the enemy. Gotcha. Find something with AoE damage. Okay, so there's any enemies, what should we do AoE-wise? What is AoE? Um, Disorient attacks the target. Do we have any major AoE stuff? Penalties to cold resistance. Spider shape, that's not doing too much. Horror, the cower in fear. Mind blast. A wave of telekinetic force that stuns enemies caught in the sphere. We don't have any AoE yet. Could we do lightning? The problem is that lightning has friendly fire. I don't want to do friendly fire stuff yet. Ice Cone is OP. I don't have Ice Cone yet, unfortunately. That's looking good. Let's leave Morrigan's on that. Um, tactics. Should we put her on aggressive? Default. Uh, the Parthen will not attack when enemies are visible and will only engage on the player's command. If attacked in melee combat, they'll fight back. No, we want them aggressive, okay? I want all of my dudes just attacking all the time, okay? The best defense is everything being dead. That's what it is. Always aggressive. Let's save that preset as custom one again. Alistair. Right. Self, any, activate, threaten. So Alistair always starts by threatening things. Fam yeah, death is a form of crowd control. A, B, C. Always be combating. Okay? A, I, D, I. Attention, interest, um, decision, and A, I, D, A. Attention, interest, decision, action. I'm pretty sure I remember all of those. That was uh, Glengarry Glen Ross, isn't it? Amazing film. Amazing speech by Alec Baldwin as well. Always be closing. Coffee's for closers. Coffee is for closers. Okay. Starting right now, you're all fired. But you've got, what, is it one week to get your jobs back? Such a good film. You can make Alice's 5 be a constant tactic. Okay, here we go. Here we go. So, he always activates Threaten. At the start of combat, that's good, because Threaten, what does Threaten do? Threaten is a chilling, a challenging posture that draws aggro away from other stuff. Cool, we've got that. Being attacked by a ranged attack activates shield cover. Yep, that seems good as well. Enemy health greater than 75%, shield bash. Okay. Enemy nearest visible, shield pummel. Okay, we need to give them some health stuff, don't we? So, if self, health. If health is less than 50%, then use item, use health booties least powerful. That seems good to me. We'll save that. Let's save that. We're good. That sounds good, you know? Self-health equals stealth. Tell him to activate shield stance any. He already does. Because look, Alistair. Oh, he's not in shield stance yet. So instead of activating threaten, should he activate shield stance? You know what? I'll just manually make sure Shields Dance is, like, always on. Okay? Put it high priority. Ah, uh, yes. So, that is super high priority. That's the first thing he does. Then activate Threaten. Then do the ranged attack shield cover. Bash. Pummel. Now just don't die. Will this be on the exam later? Yes, it will. Okay? Yes, it will. I expect all of you to show up for this. Okay. Saved as custom one. And uh, aggressive. We'll save that again. So, that's aggressive. That's all sorted. And now there's only me to worry about, so sweet. I will control me, everyone else will control themselves. Do I prefer water or bread? You have no idea how long I've waited for someone to ask me a deep question like that. I prefer water dipped in bread, or bread poured over water. It's the only way I'd eat either of these. Anyone told you you look like Josh Strife says? I get that all the time. Literally all the time. Can I quote you about the best defense? The best defense is everyone being dead. Straight up. 
What about cereal with water? It's a good one. It, it's, it's fine. Fine, mate. If you want to do cereal with water, that's fine. I'll tell you what you need to do, mate. Cereal with warm water. Okay? Not hot. Warm water. You know that exact temperature of water when you dip your hand in it and you can't tell that it's any temperature because it's exactly the temperature of the room? So, like, it's not cold, but it's not hot. It's You can't even tell when the water begins. That's the correct temperature of water to have with cereal. Pit, I have got you on a list to add VIP. Pit, I'll tell you why the VIP is taking a while to add. Because it seems we have maxed out on VIPs. So what I will do is this. Your name is going on a list. At the start of the month, I will simply reset all the VIPs. And your name will be the first one to grab it from there. So you might actually be the only VIP for a while. I do need to work out exactly how it... Save game slash quick save. He's got a list. I do have a list. So save game. F5. Okay. Pause. We can't save the game right now because in the middle of combat. Right. Let's see what happens. Oh, so actually Morrigan's using a lot of abilities right now. Oh, look. Look at them. Look at them go. God damn. Okay. Right. What, uh, what should I use? Let's have a look at mine. Stealth. I don't know about that. Yeah, not a problem, mate. I don't think AoE affects units on normal. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Let's see what else we've got. So I don't want to use Dirty Fighting because that's melee. Below the belt's melee. I've actually got Rapid Shot and Pinning Shot right now. So I'm going to attack that dude with uh, Pinning Shot. And then I'll use Rapid Shot as well. And we'll see we'll see how well this goes now we've got some tactics going. So we've, we've got quite a few tactics going on. And my dudes seem to be doing a lot better. Like, we are surrounded. But I think... The I'm kind of going to be irritated if this works. Because, like, I don't... I mean, I want it to. He just used a health booties by himself. What an absolute babe he is. The big problem is that the damage is now really spread out. The damage is super spread out across all the enemies. Which means we're not going to be able to focus one enemy down. Rapid shot's a stance. Oh, I didn't realise that. Okay. Cool. So with rapid shot being a stance, I just turn it on and then it remains as a stance, does it? Okay. So, archery, sustained. Speed over power wins, fire more rapidly, but without any chance of hitting critical hits. Okay, we'll do that then. So, I fire a lot faster, but I don't do critical hits. That seems like a good idea for me. Choke points are very helpful. Add a tactic to the party target to your target. Ah, yes. That might need to be something I do. Thank you for the stream. You are more than welcome, Miyazaki. Hopefully you're having a lovely day. What have you been up to today? All right, so we'll attack the walking corpse over there. I'm actually super impressed that, um, how do I set it? Okay, so Twitch chat, tactics, self, uh, enemy, so self attacking, any, is it, how can I set it so other people use my attack? If I'm attacking this, then other people do what I can. Ally, all of them, right. Is it, I've got to set it on the allies things. So Morrigan, like, attack, same thing as me. Jump to... Oh, that's clever. Oh, you can change tactics as well. That's pretty clever. Each of them. Right, so I've got to go on to, like, Morrigan's thing and give her... She'll have the attack, tic, attack target that Twitch thing is. Okay. Target condition. Okay, so... Give me a second. Enemy... Target using attack type. Attacking party member. Target of party member. Right, so target of main character. Attack. Gotcha. So that way they would attack whatever I am attacking. I see. Right, so I've got to specifically give every single one of them enemy target of main character. Attack them. Gotcha. Put that as the priority. So, that that wouldn't apply to anyone else, though, would it? Because I'd have to give that to everyone, wouldn't I? Yeah, that's... The problem is I can't give it to these people, because they've only got, like, four things. Right now, we'll see how far we go through the fight. Without worrying too much about their... It applies to everyone but you. Okay. Does configuring tactics make Josh Mere developer? Yes, it does. So now if I attack this walking corpse... Yeah, because Sten's still doing his thing. And they're still doing their thing. And then every time someone dies, I switch my own target to it. 
You have to buy more tactics slots. I will do. I think tactics... People have told me tactics slots are like the best thing to buy. So yeah, because Morrigan just throws that just there. I really like this tactics symbol. Look at the ally register. Where's the ally register? Okay, so... Like, allies... Okay. Any... Being attacked by type of attack, target at ranged. Ally, any, just attack. So, ally... Oh, no, it would be me, wouldn't it, specifically? Specific ally... If I'm attacked... There'll be a way to do it. We'll sort it out. Tactics for second characters are important. Only the main character will take persuasion. Yeah, right. So I need combat training to unlock lots of the higher tier skills and stuff. And I need tactic slots to make them effectively more complicated. Feels better to be in third person. I think, you know what, we, we probably can be in third person now. Because we can do this one. Okay, so... My only problem with this is we've already used up all of our potions. So what I'll do is I'll unpause it. The monsters are attacking from the lake! They're attacking yeah, okay. the barricades! Mate, you don't we need, need, you Come on, don't we need, need to... to yell. What I will is I'll save the game. Right, we've committed now. I've just saved the game here. Okay? We've saved it right now. So we have to do this. We have committed to doing this. Yes, I understand that it's loud. I'm turning it down. Making good use of those trap making skills. Shut up. Okay? Shut up. Let's hope your character doesn't ever look down <laughs> and pale himself. Yes, that was the uh, the fate of many of them, unfortunately. The, the fate of many people. The pointy chin clan. Their only... Their only weakness is looking down. Okay, so let's do this. Here we go. Off we go, guys. Let's see how well this goes. Maybe, maybe Morrigan will be able to do this. Hey, we've knocked some stuff down. But I'm going to leave you guys to deal with it. And once you've done that, what I will do is simply switch my own target manually to something else. I assume you have the game maxed out. Um, I've got the... No, I've actually turned the game music and sound effects down. The only thing that should be loud right now is... Uh, oh, hang on. If he attacks me, can I just blow the belt? I can. Can I do dirty fighting as well? Yeah. Throw some stuff into his face. Fantastic. Right, Morrigan, you're being attacked, but that shouldn't be a major problem because Sten is dealing with it. So I will continue attacking this walking corpse just here. I think I should be in rapid fire stance still. Yeah, I am. That's decent. And attack you. This is going... I, I want to say this is going a lot better. I think Sven has dealt with that dude back there. Yep, Sven has dealt with him. Guys, I think we're doing it. I think we're actually doing okay. Going to re-download this game short. Never used tactics before. I'm, in, I'm enjoying this. Look, you got Frozen. The only thing we haven't got is health packs. Kickball's almost as good as rapid fire. Who would have thought that telling your team what to do is actually really useful? Well, I'm going to start shooting this walking corpse right now because he's doing a lot of damage and he needs to go down quickly. Alistair is about to die because we're out of health potions and he's on half health. So I feel that Alistair is in serious trouble. Sven's in trouble as well. Oh, hang on. Attack you, but with below the belt and then dirty fighting. And then I should be able to keep attacking you. Yeah, this is not going great. It's better. It's going much better than it was going, but it's not going well. Okay? Being good is not necessarily being, uh, being as good as it needs to be. Let's attack this walking corpse. Morrigan is being attacked by someone. Having tactics set up, she is wasting so much mana on Mind Blast. It's a difficult battle. Well, she's about to be attacked by multiple things at the same time, so... We probably I'm gonna try and use dirty fighting on this guy. Start knocking some things down. Yeah, okay. Start knocking some stuff down. Let's pin you down if we can. Sven's about to die. Which is kind of irritating, but and yeah, Morrigan, you're taking some damage too. We have, however, managed to do a lot more damage than I would have expected us to do. So hey, we've done more damage than I expected. Hey, um, can we level... We cannot level Alistair up at the right time. Alistair, clutch level up. 
Okay, so when you level up, apparently you get all your health back, which is perfect. That's exactly what I expected. This was planned. This was 100% planned 100% of the time. Alistair coming in there with the absolute perfect level up. I don't think Sven is close enough to a level up as well, unfortunately. I will attack you and use this ability. Let's use dirty fighting. Keep attacking you rapid fire style. Alistair is going to die, but it's okay. Because that is tradition by now. Sven's probably going to die as well, but once again, totally okay. Part of tradition. It's what we do. I'm going to retreat to this dude. And after retreating to this dude, keep attacking this guy. Let's knock you down. I really need to get the heck away from this guy. Yeah, so Morrigan, you are dead. This one dude is my help. It's difficult if you try and make it... This was an improvement. Yeah, this 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 doesn't go well. Let's just press F9 so we can quick load. Alright, so... That didn't go well. It didn't go well at all. But it went better. Which is the important thing. How do we do this? We need to make sure we don't get surrounded. That seems to be the, the problem here. The problem set up traps, lots of them. Okay, so let's just set up the traps. My goodness, Senpai, thank you very much for the donation. That's remarkably kind of you. Thank you for being awesome. My favourite first monitor streamer. You see, you need you need to put me on the second monitor. That's where I do my best. That's where I do my, my best job. Can I make some potions? I don't think so. Let's find out. Because, I mean, if I could have done that, I would have done that before. Um, yeah, see, I need flasks. I don't have any flasks. That's the problem. Can you set up traps in combat? I don't know. Let's find out. Uh, can I make traps? So I can, I've got one trap trigger. I could create... I don't have any other things needed to make anything else. We can make one trap. Okay, one step at a time. One step at a time. Okay, we've got one trap. So, items received. Trap. That can go there. So, what I want to do now is... I want to head just a little bit ahead. And then I want to put a trap down. Okay? Quick question. Do traps affect your own team? I'm hoping they don't, because I'm about to walk straight over it. I also just realised this is the wrong place for the trap. Okay? Do traps affect your own team? Time to find out. No, apparently they don't. Sweet. You can just walk straight over your own traps. This is really good. Good stuff. I also got the achievement clever, which is true because I am. Okay? I got the clever achievement. You all should be super impressed and thankful with that. Okay, so here's the plan. I've got an idea. It might be dumb, but I'm going to do it this way. Okay? I want Alistair and Sven to chill there and do literally nothing. Stan, Shay there. You two come with me. All right? We are just going to do as much... No, no, stay there. We are going to do... No, stay there. We're going to do as much range damage as we can. Okay, look, my guys are just going to do range stuff. Going to put these guys over here. And that turn off aggressive. Right. No. Shan't. So I'm going to put these guys over here. You two just do stuff. Those guys stay here. That way, what if... Oh yeah, I need some aggressive stance on mine as well, don't I? I should probably put aggressive on me. Yeah, I'm on there too, so you can attack you. Morrigan, can you use, like, electricity on the things? Let's see what happens if you use that. Does lightning work? Yeah, okay. I want to see if I can just range as many things as possible. Sven, you need to really chill. So you're using the soldiers as bait. Look, it's not bait as much. Sten, just go on default, and then we'll stick... Alistair on default for the time being and we'll just get you guys to hang back here and us two will keep attacking. Well, I'll keep attacking. You can do your own thing now. Alright, cool. That way. Stan, hang over here. Alistair, why are you still doing this? Okay? You need to chill. You need to go defensive. Okay? Defensive. You will not chase enemies. This is what I'm in. I demand. I demand you go defense. You chill here, you chill there, and we'll see what we can do if we just use the soldiers as bait for a little bit. Yeah. 
Okay, you need to both chill, both of you. Yes. There we go. Oh, are they just going to stand by me and not do anything? No, apparently Alistair is still going to do the thing where set party to hold ground. Oh, I see. Does that work? Is there a hold ground thing? Is there a whole party thing that I can do? Give Alistair and Stan a ranged weapon. That could work. As long as these guys hang back here, I'm kind of okay with it. You know? Let's have a look. It's under the portraits. I see. Right, so... Toggle full party selection. Move freely. Hold position. Move... Hold position. Okay, cool. So, you come over here. You guys attack that. Sweet. Alright, cool. Now the guys can hold their position. Beautiful stuff. Morrigan, attack the corpse. Twitch chat, attack the corpse. These guys can now hang here. So what I want Stell and... Stell? Yeah, what I want Stell and Alistair to do is literally just hang there until everyone else is dead. I'm going to turn rapid fire on and just keep going for it. Morrigan, I need you to do as much as we can. We are kind of using the soldiers as bait right now. So when all those militia men have died, we will take on everything else. Because we've still got this militia dude back here. Okay. Which difficulty am I playing? I'm playing on normal difficulty. Did you install the fan patch? I didn't. I found another way of making the game not crash. You just put the graphics really low. Okay. Oh, and now we have this dude here. So now this dude's made it up. We get Alistair and Sten onto it. And we can take them down. So now we get these two guys back here. And I carry on doing everything. Beautiful. See, this is much better. This is what we needed. Right. Now we go to move freely. Now we switch the tactics to aggressive for everyone again. And we've taken out the bulk of their army. Fantastic. Now we do this. And we should... Oh, that's so much better. See? We've cleared out the little fodder dudes. And now we need to just start taking on these guys. I want to kill that guy first, because he's attacking the militia dude. We, we can always run back and hide behind this militia dude. It's the, last, it's, it's, it's the last choice we could do, but it is a potential choice. I'm going to take out some of these guys. Start kicking. Start doing some dirty fighting stuff. That militia's surviving remarkably well, to be fair. Let's turn that on. Oh, maybe I can attack that dude, but with number six, so I pin him down. If I pin him down, will he stay there? He will stay there. Guys, I think we've got this. I think we've got this. Ah, no, bit of a problem. We need to fall back. Because remember, remember, we've got... Okay, he can just deal with that. That's fine. Okay. Remember. This is the ace up our sleeve. Let's keep running. Here we go. Follow me, guys. Follow me. Don't stand and fight. No, nope. follow me. Come on, everyone follow me. Here we go. This is it. This is the moment. This is the moment we've been waiting for. I hope you're all ready. I hope the trap is still here. The trap was around here somewhere, wasn't it? There it is. Beautiful trap moment. As long as I don't... What? What are these doing up here? Why are there walking corpses up here? Why are the knights alive still? Boom! You fell down, nerd! That was it. That was the entire track. Okay? That was literally everything we planned. I'm glad that that worked. However, yeah. <laughs> Silver lining? Let's just all run behind these dudes and now turn around and use them. Okay? Excellent. Silver lining. Right, now I just use myself and they can go back to using their own tactics. Um, okay, cool. Morrigan's dead. So we didn't expect that, but not a problem, because we can just use the knights to keep attacking everything up here. See, why did no one tell me that I could do this? Why did nobody tell me that I could just do this? This is so much easier. Right? After this wave, I'm pretty sure we get Morrigan back, don't we? Okay? That was easy. That was super duper easy. I don't know what anyone was worrying about. Oh, there's more enemies over there, are there? Okay. Let's keep attacking you this way. No, she's dead forever. She's literally dead forever. You can run up the hill, the knights are still there. That's what we did. Alright, cool. See? Down. Let's get Morrigan back up. Oh, there she is. Quick save. F5. Saving the game. Guys, we did it. Okay? 
We literally saved the world. See? Got her back up. Now we're all fine. Now we can run down. Carry on. Maybe we'll just hang around, wait for our health to you know, recharge. Get back up. How close to leveling is everyone? Very, actually. Um, F5 again. Is the leveling the yellow thing on the side? It, it, that's, hang on, no, that's stamina? No, that's other stuff. Experience. The yellow bar is the leveling thing, isn't it? That's stamina. What? If, if that's stamina, why isn't mine showing maxed? 35 reserve for some reason. Bottom left. Oh, okay, so I'm quite close. Oh, basically, yeah. Alistair basically has leveled. So, we are... Oh, there's... Are you taking the piss? Okay. Right, there's there's an absolute frickin' army of them again. You know what? Fine. And so I shall. Uh, here we go. Here we go. I'm gonna run out of the damage, seeing as I need Alistair to do some stuff. Oh good, Alistair, you've leveled up. Fantastic. Why are those two dudes, the two tanky people, fighting one enemy? I think we need to fall back to the knights. That's what I think we need to do. Let's run back to the knights and have a little uh, family reunion with those guys again, shall we? Let's pop back to these dudes up here. Because it seems that using the knights as meat shields is literally my only plan. Right now. Come on, knights. As long... Who's to say they won't respawn again? The knights don't fight this enemy. They give you a body block. That's fine. Oh, good, there's more of them. Let's run over here. Then let's all attack that dude. Then let's go back to using tactics and... See, this is fine. Apart from the, the dudes that are attacking me. That's not fine. I need to just... I'm, oh, God, there's more coming from that direction. I'm going to kite these guys around the edge. Okay, this is my plan. I'm going to get all the enemies on me. I'm going to kite them around. Look, I'm dealing with three dudes right now. See? Big brain. Big brain time. Full on kiting. Two guys not bothering the rest of the team because they're bothering me. I can grab you. Keep kiting. Sven's dead. It's okay. It's okay. It's not a problem. We can, uh, we can still do this. Take down this walking corpse. Every time we get one of them down... We get a little bit closer to winning every time. You know, it's a little bit. It's a legit good plan. Oh, good. Everyone's stunned for a second. I should probably be kiting with Alistair, shouldn't I? Because kiting with Alistair means most of the people will be attacking him. Okay, the knights are dead. No, um, Morrigan's... Oh, who's dead? Oh, it's only Sven. That's fine. So you're dead. And now we take on the walking corpse. Right. And then we get our team back and so I shall. yeah okay you know what save it's it's oh there's more enemies are there okay we'll unpause where are they coming from where are they coming from they're coming from there okay so he is atoning for sins can I level up Alice? I can't level up in combat okay we're in combat right now can't level up right now so quick question to anyone that uh, might know the answer will the wave at the bottom respawn every single time I go down there. Because if that does that, I may have just found like an infinite XP loop. Okay, so we'll, we're going to quick save again, and then we're going to level up Alistair. Right, okay, cool. What do we need to him to level up with? I'm, I think we'd go with uh, Constitution, so he stays alive. And then we pro I'm not sure anyone's had to run away this much before. We don't know. Strength shield. Dexterity for tanks, you say. Okay. Dexterity more likely to dodge incoming blows. More likely to dodge. Okay. Damage dealt by piercing weapons like daggers and arrows. Okay. Gotcha. So that's dodging blows. So we kind of need to go with this. Thank you very much, X. That's remarkably kind of you. Just making tanky. So we're going to go with dexterity and constitution for that dude. All right, cool. And uh, what's he going to gain? What is he going to gain? So he, he's a weapon and shield dude, isn't he? Shield defense, shield balance. Interesting. Improved combat tactics. The character's learned how to compensate the way of the shield. No longer suffers an attack penalty. I'm actually not too bothered about him having an attack penalty. Because... Hmm. What's the warrior attack stuff? 
Sacrificing speed for bonus to attack. Strength for armor, dex for armor, some shield stuff. Okay, is it worth just keeping his talent point at one and not doing anything else with it? Because I'd rather just wait until we have more shield stuff and then... Because look, that costs... That needs level nine there, to be fair. Look at the skill after the shield skill. Shield expertise, right. Increasing defense bonus. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. So we'll go with shield balance and shield wall. Yeah, so we just want full-on shield with this dude. All right, cool. So full-on shield. Alistair takes traps. We lay down the two trap. We could. That would be smart. But we'll go with Alistair having some shield stuff. And then we'll save the game because I'm confident this is going to work. Okay. You need strength on Alistair. Haven't actually... Hang on. Let's just pause the game for a second. I'm pretty sure we had a better shield that Alistair didn't have because he wasn't strong enough for it. Was there a shield that we didn't give him? Yeah, requires 22 strength. Look at that. He can't use it because he's not 22 strong enough. He needs to be stronger. That's what he needs to be. Uh, he's also injured with a cracked skull. Um, penalty to cunning. Let's maybe heal him. Um, lesser injury kit. Shall we... Should we use that? I feel that we should. Yes, fantastic. He is healed now. Good thing we saved. Oh, more enemies. Let's keep attacking them. You guys can use your tactics. I'll just use the bow. And then I'll tank everything, don't worry. I'll keep tanking. He needs to be stronger. He does. Do I have an opinion on what makes something an RPG? Yes. If it has RPG well, in its name, deal with these ones and move on. it's an RPG. That's the, the classification for it. Okay. I've never seen anyone play Dragon Age Origins top down. It's a Baldur's Gate game. Why would we not play it this way? This is the only... This actually seems to be an infinite experience area. Because I am leveling up, aren't I? When this dude dies, I am actually gaining a small amount of experience. Not much. Let's just see if it works. Because right now, I've got... Okay. Experience points until level 7, 4, 2, 7, 2. No, that didn't count. Okay, so that actually didn't count. Right. So this is not infinite experience, because... Oh, no, it is! Because Morrigan just got some for doing that. Okay. This is actually an infinite experience area, then. Hang on. Hang on, so... Killed that. If I go and stand over here, just out of curiosity, just, just out of curiosity, if I stand over there, yeah, another battle I see. I. This seems to actually be endless, infinite experience. The one that kills get the gets the experience. Yeah, Morgan's leveled up. Okay, so here's a theory. Right, here's a theory. If I put my tactics on aggressive and I use my abilities, you can level up trap making by staying here for a few hours. And we go to... Okay, so enemy, any. Ability, um, pinning shot. And then enemy, any attack and we just do that and then I just unpause now we get our hands dirty. how do I make it so I follow my own tactics I have to unselect myself or something is there a way that I can follow my own tactics what now so if it, when an enemy should appear there soon because it seems to be like an unlimited wave thing. Tactics work when you're not controlling them. Right, so we we send these dudes over here for a bit. We wait for a while. Maybe that it is limited. It might be a thing where it isn't unlimited. Level 7 mage. Level 7 mage. Here do we do. Chat, is Dragon Age Origins good? In this is the only game I've played. Yeah, Origins is meant to be really good. So I'm guessing we go with magic for this, because we just want full-on blitz damage with her. Okay, just 100% nuke. We just go magic. Is that a good idea? I think we just go full-on magic with this girl. 
spirit healer. Interesting. No, we go full on magic. We do loads of damage. We just do attack stuff with her. Right, what have we got? Primal. Flame Blast, Rock Armor, Heal. That seems good. Okay. Instantly healing an ally by a moderate amount. Yes, please. Guys, I th we just... We literally just leveled up Morrigan in the middle of an encounter to give her the heal spell. So I should be able to manually take control of Morrigan at any point and just heal the rest of the team. That's pretty good. Put that into tactics. Plus plus on the ice cone. Now tactics heal Alistair. Oh yeah. That would be work. So Morrigan. Self heal. Enemy enemy mind blast. Being attacked by melee attack horror. Enemy attack health 50% winter's grasp. I kind of want her to min winter's grasp a lot of stuff. Because winter's grasp. The enemy usability winter's grasp. Because that freezes any enemies as fast as she can. If she's being attacked by a melee attack horror it. Ally Alistair... Which one? Ally, health. Now, Alistair, health, less than 50%. Usability, heal. Would that work? Winter's Grasp, Alistair's target. That could work. How about a playthrough on Witcher 1? I will do it at some point. I would generally do ally, health. Okay, so I'm going to do ally, health, less than... 50% heal. Frozen, my goodness, thank you very much. You should tell my girlfriend that subbing to you is a better investment than a Warhammer 40k game. It depends what game. Okay, if it's like Dawn of War 3, then yeah, obviously I'm the objectively correct choice. If it's Dawn of War 1, that's the correct choice. If it's Space Marine, I'd still say that's probably the correct choice. Dawn of War 2, kind of a toss-up. Anything else, maybe not. You know, I've heard that... Um, the, the Inquisitor game is good, but if she turns around and says, you know, Dawn of War 1 is on sale for £5, I don't know if it is or not, but if it is, get that. Okay, I'll still be here. That's only on sale now, if it is on sale now. If Space Marine's on sale for a fiver, get that. Okay, I'll still be there. Right, uh, so, enemy, enemy, ally health, less than 50%, heal. I want to make that the priority. So that is the most important thing. If anyone drops below 50%, she heals them. I like this. This is good. Save preset. This is very good. Save that there. Also, quick save. And then we go down to take on the final waves in about five minutes. Because I need to go and have a quick break. You guys should stretch your legs, grab a drink, grab a bite to eat, grab a cup of tea. What we'll do... What if New World is on sale right now? Right. New World is on sale right now for, I think, £25? £25. Okay. You could sub to me five times for that price and I I'll never lie to you I think subbing to me five times is a better use of your money than buying New World just putting that out there okay now people are going to say to me oh my god Josh you're so arrogant no no I'm confident I'm confident that I can supply the product that I claim I'm able to supply I'm also confident that I'm not going to turn off chat or trade within the next couple of months. You're not going to be able to dupe channel points. Okay, it, it, It's fixed. It works. It's maybe not the greatest, but I am at least providing what I say I'm going to provide. Blown Fusion is gifting five subs out. He's made his choice. He's like, he's not wrong. He's not do it. Give five away. But no, guys, thank you very much for the subs. Take a, let's take a 10 minute break, grab a drink, grab a bite to eat, and I'll see you guys in 10 minutes. I'll set a timer up so you know I'm being all serious and stuff. Because like when I'm, when I want to be proper professional. New World will always be on sale in our hearts. Maybe the real New World was the friends we made along the way. Anyway, guys, I'll see you in 10 minutes time.
I hope we are ready to continue because I am ready. Got a cup of tea? I haven't fixed the green screen. I should do that now. Look at me fixing reality. Come on. Come on, green screen. There we go. Oh, beautiful stuff. Now it is fixed. And now I have a cup of tea. Did we ever find the fan patch? Didn't need to. I just turned it down to low graphics. Okay. Improvise, adapt, overcome. That's what I did. Okay. Quick save the game. Always quick save the game. Here we go. Taquito Bandito was right. Don't let anyone know. Okay, don't tell him. Here we go. Have you got a favourite character? Um, it's a toss-up between Alistair, Morrigan and Sten, but I also quite like Twitch chat, so no. No is probably the answer to that question right there. Okay, here we go. Off we go. We're all, we're tactics'd up. Morrigan's got her healing spell. We know how to do things now. We're not going to die as much, probably. We might do. But here we go. Every time I join your stream, you've been given the you've been given the New World trailer. They are probably trying to get you to buy it, but I would advise against buying it. And I'll tell you the reason I would advise against buying it. It's because it's bad. Now that's that's my official stance against why you probably shouldn't spend all your money on it. Uh, I'm going to take. Let's attack the walking corpse here, and then just choose me. So the tactics go to everything else. Tenwin, my goodness. Tenwin, you do realise you don't need to spend a dollar to make me see stuff. You can just message me on Discord for free. I mean, if you want to keep throwing money at me, be my guest. But you could do exactly what you're doing for free, and I guarantee I'll still respond. You wrote your own developer document for your personal MMO. We all do it at one point, mate. We all do it at some point. The chance of it ever being made is... No. It won't, okay? Just accept it. Unless, make a small game first. Good news, she subbed. Bad news, she's downloaded the 40k mobile game. Do you mean she's downloaded the, um... What's it called? Lost Crusade. Has she downloaded Lost Crusade? If she has, I actually know a YouTuber who's made a really good video about exactly why Lost Crusade is as... Pay to, hang on, let me let me find the guy's name. Um, oh, yeah, it's Josh Strife Hayes. He has made a really good video about exactly how pay to win Warhammer 40k Lost Crusade is. I think it's called Warhammer 40k Lost Crusade is Heresy. Um, it's it's on YouTube it's right now. You can go and watch it right now. <laughs> and she could have saved. It's fun up until it asks you to spend money, and then it isn't fun. Okay. Tenwin, ad advertise like a shameless whore. No, no, advertise like a shameless Twitch streamer. Okay? Because whores still provide something of value. I just sit here playing games all day and people throw money at me. Total difference. Okay? Right. Let's get back to shooting these walking corpses and seeing what else happens with this. You laugh, but it is true. Okay? Right, let's attack this walking corpse and stuff. Come on. I want to, I want to see what Morrigan does when someone's health gets below 50%. I kind of want to see her heal someone. That's what I want to see. I want to see the healing happen at some point. So, Alistair, you really should be... Um, okay, so Morrigan, are you going to... Okay, you're horroring, attacking. Morrigan, are you, you're draining life to get your own health back. You're going to be healing at some point. You know what? I've got to be honest. I think that encounter went really well. I think this is doing really good. She's casting Drain Life to get her own health back. I'm attacking this. I'm still in Rapid Stance shot, which is good. Morgan, are you going to heal? She's moving. She's going to heal. Oh, this is working. I actually cannot believe this is working. F5. Save the game. Okay, quick. Just out of curiosity. If I go back up to the mountain, will there be more enemies? Because if there are more enemies up here, does Alistair have the aggro aura on? He should do. Yeah, he's got shield defense mode on right now. He's got threatened to increase hostility. He's got shield defense. Yeah. He's got all the aggro auras he should have on. If I run back up, if there are more enemies up here, we met. Oh, there aren't. That's. 
I'm kind of upset that your village isn't being attacked more. That's a bit of a shame. I like this Josh guy. I watch his videos on my phone while I play secondhand lands. <laughs> Sodo, you, you jest. Do you know how I know you jest? It's because secondhand lands has been shut down. You can genuinely go and check. Okay? Secondhand lands has actually been shut down now. That's a shame. I'm like the MMO Grim Reaper. I find them, eventually they will die. That's what it will be. Right, what do we do? How, I mean, <laughs> look at that beautiful profile picture that we made. Remember? Remember when we made that beautiful profile picture? <laughs> oh, God. Okay, what do we need? Do I have any plans doing a worst MMO on Black Desert Online? Probably not. Yeah, what's, what's up with your character's face? Nothing. Nothing's up with it. It's perfect. Shut up. Here we go. Let's go with dexterity to do more damage. I just want loads of dexterity, but cunning is also useful. Constitution might be good. They're all good. I need all of them. Why is the face off center? Because I knew it would annoy someone. Let's go with more dexterity. Um, yeah, just max dex. That's pretty much what I'm going to get some con. Okay, fine. We'll, we'll get some constitution so we don't die. Uh, talents. Um, I'm actually using archery stuff now, so I don't have anywhere near enough talents to do archery stuff, which is a shame. Uh, rogue talents. Combat movement. Outmaneuver opponents. That's pretty good. That's a passive. Wider flanking angle. Deadly strike. Interesting. Improved tools. Nice. Further bonus when lockpicking or disarming traps. That's good. Stealthy item use. Oh my goodness, Grim. Thank you very much for the dollar. Uh, Last Crusade was created by Logar to corrupt... Yes. Yes, I mean, why does they just give out its uh, the IP? So, money. That's what they do. They give out their Warhammer 40k IP to anyone because of money. Hey Josh, my name's Josh. Hi from YouTube. Good name. Good strong name. Good strong powerful name. I'm going to go with um, Improved Tools. Because that seems like a good thing for me. Quick save again. Yeah. Watching this stream on my second monitor. As you should be. Okay, look. It cheapens the brand. It doesn't matter. You can't cheapen the brand when it's worth, you know, billions of... Oh, look at all this. Daggers, short bow, studded helmet, studded gloves, studded... Stud... Lots of studded stuff. Oh, yeah, because they all died, didn't they? Um, we'll, we'll take everything, then we'll sell it. Inventory full? Shame. So we'll take all the stuff, and then we'll sell everything. Did none of them have health potions on them? That's a real shame. Okay. It's almost sad that they all died, but... Sacrifices have to be made. And, uh... Unfortunately, the sacrifice that had to be made was them. Where are we going to now? Like, have we defended the village? Is this it? Have we successfully defended everyone? Where do we need to go to now? I don't think there are any enemies left. Oh, no. There we go. There's some dude there. What's this? Let's start taking this guy down. They wouldn't have died. If, if they had health potions, they might still be alive. I like how there's one walking corpse just va holding the line. Valiantly holding the line right there. What's over here? I don't like the idea of being on a bridge. Bridges are very easy to, uh, to ambush. Hey! Hey! Dawn arrives and we survive the night. We are victorious. We did it. And though this victory came at great cost, we must remember none of us would be here were it not for the heroism of these good folk beside me. I thank you, good sir. Truly the Maker smiled on us when he sent you here in our darkest hour. The Maker didn't smile on you, mate. I did. All right? I remember that. The Maker gave you nothing. All right? I did it. Yes, you're very welcome. Let us bow our heads and give honour to those who gave their lives in defence of Redcliffe. Murdoch of Redcliffe, Mayor and beloved father, we salute you. You and so many others who have perished here, walk with he who is your maker. Long may you know the peace of his love. So let it be. Just remain silent. Just stoic. This is not a time for words. With the Maker's favour, the blow we delivered today is enough for me to enter the castle and seek out your Arl. Be wary and watch for signs of renewed attack. We shall return with news as soon as we are able. People are in the chat are like saying no that I let Murdoch die. Meet me at the mill. We can talk further there. 
I didn't let Murdoch die. Murdoch chose to die. Okay? He, ch he, you know what? It wasn't the, and I'll stand by this, it was not the undead invasion that killed Murdoch. It was his lousy mental attitude. If he'd have just had some positive thinking, we'd have been fine. All right? We need some positive thinking. We need a little bit of, a uh, little bit of, you know, PMA, positive mental attitude. That's what it is. It's because he refused to live, laugh, and love. He didn't accept, he didn't write positive vibes only on his profile, and that was his fault, because what that meant was negative vibes were allowed. If he'd have written positive vibes only, I guarantee he'd have still been alive. Okay? Straight up. He didn't, girl boss. That's what he didn't do. He wasn't hashtag building his empire. He should have been building his empire. You know what it was? It's because he didn't... Sort of like coming home again, but with more undead. He didn't buy the staying alive NFT. Had he have done, would have appreciated in value by now, he'd have still been alive. Odd how quiet the castle looks from here. You would think there was nobody inside at all. But I shouldn't delay things further. I had a plan. To enter the castle after the village was secure. There is a secret passage here, in the mill, accessible only to my family. Okay, so, secret passage in the mill, castle's been attacked. Correlation? Maybe? Who knows? Why didn't you mention this before? I knew you would choose to enter the castle instead of staying in the village. And we needed warriors. I'm sorry if I... Maker's breath. Tigan. Thank the Maker you yet live. Isolde. You're alive. How did you... What has happened? I do not have much time to explain. I slipped away from the castle as soon as I saw the battle was over. And I must return quickly. And I need you to return with me, Tigan. Alone. Whoa. Right, so I'm pretty sure... Wasn't that the... The blacksmith's daughter? Was that the blacksmith's daughter? It was, wasn't it? I think it was. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm... No, it wasn't. Okay. We don't care about her then. She's fine. Uh, whoa, right. Why don't we all just go to the castle and have a merry old time? What? I... Who is this <laughs> man, Tigan? Face. You remember me, Lady Isolde, don't you? Alistair. Of all the... Why are you here? They are Grey Wardens, Isolde. I owe them my life. Pardon me, I... I like him. I would exchange pleasantries, but... He doesn't like me. He just walked off. Please, Lady Assault. We had no idea anyone was even alive within the castle. <laughs> I'm like, that guy's cool. He's like, I'm out of here. Just gone. Just leaves. I, I don't know what is safe to tell. I feel a bit offended, to be honest. Terrible evil within the castle. The dead waken and, and hunt the living. The mage responsible was caught, but still it continues. And I think Connor is going mad. We have survived, but... He tried his he best to hide it. Castle. He did. He has seen so much death. You must help him, Tegan. You are his uncle. You could reason with him. I do not know what else to do. Hey, hey, hey. I get the feeling you aren't quite telling us everything. I... I beg your pardon? That's a rather impertinent <clears throat> accusation. Well, impertinent happens to be my middle name. An evil I cannot fathom holds my son and the husband hostage. I came for help. What more do you want from me? Money. But I do not understand what you mean by this evil. Items, Did it gold. Did the walking corpses? What is it? Weapons, Something armor. Something the mage unleashed. So far it allows Eamon, Connor and myself to live. Scoot, thank you for gifting us up, man. So fortunate. It killed so many and turned their bodies into walking nightmares. Once it was done with the castle, it struck the village. It wants us to live, but I do not know why. It allowed me to come for you, Tigan, because I begged, because I said Connor needed help. Hey, so, right, do you think this evil could maybe be some kind of demon? I... I do not know. Oh, Maker's mercy. Could it truly be a demon? 
I can't let it hurt my Connor. You must come back with me, Tegan. Please. And the Academy Award for Best Voice Acting in a Video Game goes to... Oblivion. Okay, right. Uh, enough questions. We need to decide what to do. Let's do this. Why, why do you need Tegan to go alone? For Connor's sake. I promised I would return quickly and only with Tegan. Tegan, I know you could order your men to follow me when I return to the castle. I beg you not to. For Connor's sake. Enough questions. Let's decide what to do. The king is dead, and we need my brother now more than ever. I will return to the castle with you, Isol. Oh, thank the Maker. Bless you, Tegan. Bless you. Right. Okay. This is a mistake, by the way. You're going to get yourself killed. I cannot let Isolde return alone. Perhaps I can help Connor or Eamon. Perhaps this is really a trap, but this is my family. I must try. I have no illusions of dealing with this evil alone. You, on the other hand, have proven quite formidable. Isolde, can you excuse us for a moment? We must confer in private before I return to the castle with you. I see what the you plan's going to be. Too long. I will be by the bridge. He's going to send us to this secret tunnel and he's going to go and then we're going to Here's meet what I propose I go in with Isolde and you enter the castle using the secret passage boy. my signet ring unlocks the door the boy's Perhaps got plans I will distract whatever evil is inside and increase your chances of getting in unnoticed what do you say oh mate you could stick a tail on that plan and call it a weasel that is how cunning it is let's do it then it's for the best I would prefer to go inside with you but I have no choice in the matter Sir Perth and his men can watch for danger at the castle entrance. Oh my god, I just showed up. What is that thing? Within, they can move in and help you. That's Tegan. I don't think there's anyone else who can help you. If you choose not to go, then it's up to me to do what I can. Here How is are you my on about? Ring. It will open the lock on the door in the mill. Whatever you do, Eamon is the priority here. If you have to, just get him it's out just of how there. ginger people so look, me man. and anyone else, we are expendable. Okay, you can't just turn up and be like, Oh god, it's disgusting, alright? He didn't choose to be born ginger. It's it's something he's had to live with his whole life. Right. I will rescue you all, by the way. I promise this. You are a good man. The Maker smiled on me indeed when he sent you to Redcliffe. One fool plan on top of another. But I can delay no longer. Allow me to bid you farewell. And good luck. Legendary adventurer Twitch chat. Look. So, if you've just joined the stream, by the way, Twitch chat's face is questionable at best. I'll, I'll, I'll give you that. There's... Questions can be asked. But he is a beautiful boy inside. You know, in, in his heart of hearts, he is a good guy. Hey, he's handsome. I like him. I think he's good. I failed to see the problem with his face. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Fun Show. We are indeed playing Dragon Age Origins. I've never played it before, so... Very much enjoying it. That's a big mill. Where is this secret? Let's see if we can find the secret there. That's that's not that's a crate. Of course. Health pooties. Yes, please. Oh, inventory's full. Okay. Uh, we probably don't need eight daggers. So you can go into the. Can you go in the crate? No. Uh, we probably. Yeah, I'm going to throw away eight daggers. Oh, let's just throw away all of those daggers. Because if no one's using them, no one has daggers equipped currently. Yeah, daggers seem pointless, and they also don't seem very expensive. So I'm just going to get rid of all of these. And then what I'll do is I will I'll pick up the health thingy, because that's probably more important. Not going to need that many daggers. Okay, so get rid of all of you. Then we will open up the crate and take the health booties. And now we're good. Excellent. Right, let's find the uh, the little secret path that takes us down. Apparently some kind of... Oh, it's it's very secret. It's covered in hay. You should sell your stuff. No, I don't need to. I don't need to, mate. Trap. Absolutely fine. The defenders of this castle are idiots. I suspect both. I agree with Sten right there. Sten is probably correct. So, your companions have their own inventory. No, they don't. They actually don't. This is a party inventory. See? Party inventory. Aha! Uh -huh. It's a single inventory. In this one. It may be different in the next one, but I'm pretty sure it's just one big inventory. 
It's a huge shared inventory of stuff. I could equip things to them, but I don't need to do that yet. You don't have a helmet yet, Stan. You probably should have some kind of helmet. You know, have a helmet. You're welcome. I don't have a helmet. I should have a helmet. I have a helmet now. And Morrigan, you don't have a helmet. Do you want a helmet? Morrigan's robes, magic. So do you want a helmet as well? You should have one. Studded leather gloves, you should have one as well. What about boots? Studded leather boots cured. Yeah, let's give you some boots too. Look, at, oh, she's also injured like a lot. Damaged eyes, penalty to attack. That's pretty bad. We should probably use some uh, some stuff to help her out with that. Let's get her a lesser injury kit. I think I'm actually running out of injury kits, so people need to stop dying. All right, Morrigan, use an injury kit. Okay, now you're less injured. Who else is injured? Okay, Sven, you're injured twice, and I'm pretty dead. I should probably return to... Can I return to my camp before I come back here? Or should I just keep go? You know, I'm just going to keep going. It's fine. It's fine. Nothing is going to go wrong. Something went wrong, guys. Something went very wrong. Oh, there's lots of things. Here we go. This is fine. Return to the camp and heal injuries is an option. Nah, I don't need to. I'm absolutely fine. I know what I'm doing. Switch occasionally to attacking different things. Occasionally use new attacks. Got my pinning shot attack that's... Dicks people to the floor. Twitch chat doesn't have quit in it. That's true. Okay? There is no quit in Twitch chat. Isn't there a paid option to ignore the injuries? It's not Neverwinter. All right? It's not Neverwinter. My famous last words, I don't need to know what I'm doing. Who's there? Is there anyone alive out there? Hello? Wait, you don't look like the Arlesser's guards. Are you from outside the castle? Possibly. Who are you? My name is Jowan. I'm a mage Lady Isolde hired to tutor her son, Connor. Until they, uh, threw me into the dungeon here. Oh! Right, apparently Isolde said that a mage was behind all of this. No, I... I poisoned Al Eamon, but that's all I did. I... I know it looks suspicious, but I'm not responsible for the creatures and the killings in the castle. I was already imprisoned when all that began. At first, Lady Isolde came here with her men, demanding that I reverse what I'd done. I thought she meant my poisoning of the Arl. That's the first I heard about the walking corpses. She thought I'd summoned a demon to torment her family and destroy Redcliffe. She had me tortured. There was nothing I could do or say that would appease her. So they left me to rot. I admire the retaliation to the accusation by actually saying that you did something different, but just as bad. I did not summon the demons. All I did was poison the Earl. As if we're going to go, that's fine. He's totally innocent. He's off the hook. I see. The shamelessness. Attempted murder isn't that bad. Yeah, why did you poison Arl Eamon? I was instructed to by Terran Loghain. I was told that Arl Eamon was a threat to Ferelden. That if I dealt with him, Loghain would settle matters with the Circle. You see, I'm a Malifica. A blood mage. You? A blood mage? Truly? <laughs> what was that with my mage. head? Well, that isn't good. I dabbled in the forbidden arts. My character's head just did a weird flickery it. thing as it turned. I thought Loghain was giving me a chance to redeem myself. But he's abandoned me here, hasn't he? Everything's fallen apart and I'm responsible. I have to make it right somehow. I have to. I can see the VIPs in the chat, by the way. You are being added to a list. Evil Grayson, you have got one as well. And Bucket Heyo. In fact, let me grab that list, sort it out for you now. I'll tell you why. Because we've actually maxed out the amount of VIPs we can have on the channel. We can't have any more VIPs. So what I might need to do, because the channel is getting much more popular, is slowly but surely maybe reset the VIPs monthly or something like that. So people can just buy the VIP stuff. Let me add to a list. Because we have a list of VIPs now. So we've got Evil Grayson... And who else would... Yeah, almost VIPs. A VIP. That's what it is. Almost VIP. And Bucket Heyo, let's grab you on that as well. Why don't you increase the price? I'm going to have to. I don't want to, but I'm going to have to, unfortunately. Right, here we go. All right, so, um, yeah, so Terran Loghain, who is just an... He is just a dick, isn't he? He really is. That's the best way that I can describe it. 
So Terran Loghain himself hired you. While is Arl, why is Arl Eamon a threat to Terran Loghain? He only said that Arl Eamon was dangerous to the nation. Why wouldn't I believe Terran Loghain? Fathom Fierce says, I love Dragon Origins Age. It's a good game. Why would the Arlesa need a maid to tutor her son? Connor had started to show signs. Lady Isolde was terrified the circle of magi would take him away for training. Okay. Connor? A mage? I can't believe it. She sought an apostate, a mage outside the circle, to teach her son in secret so he could learn to hide his talent. Her husband had no idea. Interesting. Right. Uh, maybe her son is responsible for what's happened. I thought that too. Connor has little knowledge of magic, but he may have done something to tear open the veil. With the veil to the Fade torn, spirits and demons could infiltrate the castle. Powerful ones could kill and create those walking corpses. Alright, cool. So, um, how much magic did you teach Connor exactly? Some, but he's still very young. He can barely cast a minor spell, never mind something more powerful. Thank At you, Scooby Clue. Intentionally. Like I said, he may have torn the veil accidentally. If he's involved in this at all, I really don't know. How am I preventing crashing? I'll tell you very simply. I'm running it on the lowest graphics I can run it on. Okay, it is low, low, low graphics. Right. I think I understand all this. I never meant for it to end like this. I swear. Let me help you fix this. I say kill the mage. He cannot be trusted. He doesn't need to die, surely. I say this boy could still be of use to us. But if not, then let him go. Why keep him prisoner here? Hey, hey, let's not forget he's a blood mage. You can't just set a blood mage free. Better to slay him. Better to punish him for his choices. Is this Alistair who speaks, or the Templar? I'd say it's common sense. We don't even know the whole story yet. Give me a chance, please. Right. Okay, so how are you going to make things right? I... well, I'd try to save anyone still up there. There must be something I can do. Right. Okay, cool. Um, what if I were to just, like, let you go? I'd stay and try to help if I could. Perhaps I can help deal with whatever's been unleashed here. You know what? That's, uh, I appreciate that. That's commendable if it's true. I'm glad you think so. So what now? It's very simple. I am going to let you out of your cell, but don't do anything. You're letting me out? And what then? Then you are on your own. I don't care. No, I'm not leaving. I made a mistake, and I'm going to find some way to fix it. All right, guy seems like a good guy. You know, nothing wrong with this. Okay, seems like a good guy. Blood magic, the forbidden school, new codex about apostates. All right, sweet. The guy seems like a stand-up chap. We'll probably... I killed him, lol, I hate that guy. Look, he only poisoned someone because someone else said... Hey, it'd be really funny if you poison someone. I mean, who of us hasn't been there? Oh, a pile of shit. Let's search through it. Who wouldn't? Delighted. Blank vellum. Uh, Fine-treated lambskin. Yeah, we'll take some of that. Beautiful. I love shit-covered lambskin. That is my favourite type of lambskin. Oh, I'm going to make you into some of the most comfortable clothes. A note on the floor. Let's read it. A rolled-up note. Codex. I hope whoever finds this can read it. I had the thought that my last words might be used as kindling or make a forbid to wipe someone's bum. Don't laugh. It's a serious note. But that's happenstance for you, I suppose. My name is Brannon. I was born in Rainsphere. I grew apples once upon a time. When the Orlesians came to demand I bow to their emperor, I turned them away. They set fire to my orchard, to my house too. But I didn't care. I stood and watch them burn. Trees die eventually. Houses fall, but my honour can only be lost if I let it. Then they came back a week later and demanded that I swear an oath. This time when I refused, they clapped me in irons. Now I'm here, and I'll die in this place. It seems foolish to, a foolish thing to die for, doesn't it? I could have said a few words and rebuilt my home, gone on with my life as if nothing had changed. A hundred generations of my family have lived and died on that land, and I won't be the one to trade our family honour for apples. Whoever you are, whatever they've brought you here for. If you leave this place, I hope you'll go to Rainsphere. 
There's no living remnant of us left there, but you'll find my family all the same. We're stamped onto the earth. We're in the wind that rustles the trees. Tell my family how I died, and I promise you, they'll hear. Brannon. Moment of silence for Brannon. He was a good man. He was a powerful man. He was a strong man. A manly man. Unfortunately, uh, he was he, he became a shambling corpse. That's what happens. To quote the rolled up note, I grew apples, world building. Brannon didn't poison anyone. That's we don't know that. He may have made really bad apples. Oh look, a shambling corpse. Let's take you down. Oh, there's, oh, what the hell? There's loads of them. Good. Oh, no, it's Brannon. It's the corpse of Brannon. He's come back to attack. So if I attack this dude and just, you know, hit him to stun him, I'm going to start taking you down. Then I'm going to start doing dirty fighting by kicking you. You guys can do your own thing. I'm just going to shoot this corpse over here. Let's go, Brannon. You and me, Brannon. How do you like these apples? That was such a good reference to a film I just made. How am I missing from here? Like, hey, did I just get healed? I did. Oregon just healed me. You absolute babe. Thank you very much. Let's keep shooting this shambling corpse. Stupid Brannon. Didn't someone other than the blood mage technically do the poisoning? All right, sweet. Take him down. Okay, so I have to admit that maybe tactics are the greatest thing ever. Because I love the fact that your team just do stuff when you aren't doing it. Yeah, more, more games need more tactics. Right, yeah, this is this is probably the coolest thing I've, I've I've played in a long time. I'm enjoying this a lot. Is this the anonymous Neverwinter Veterans Support Group? Yep, if you were part of Neverwinter... I was part of... What guild was it? Neverwinter Legit Channel Alpha. I'm sure it was called Legit Channel Alpha. Lyrium Potion? I'm pretty sure I just picked it up. Look, I've got a Lyrium Potion right there. Restrictions. Mage. Ah, so that's pretty much only going to be Morrigan. We may as well just chuck a load of Lyrium Potions. We haven't got any health potions left, so... We'll just chuck... Chuck a load of Lyrian potions onto a thing just there. That's fine. All right, sweet. So we're up here now. Let's uh, let's go into the thing. Nothing bad will happen. We are totally safe. We actually are safe. Interesting. Ooh, where now? There's another small room. I want to clear the small rooms out first. Pronounce Lyrium that way one more time. Is it Lyrium or Lyrium? If it's Lyrium, I'm going to say Lyrium. If it's Lyrium, I'm going to say Lyrium. Okay. Oh, shambling corpse. Let's take you down. It's Lyrium. So, Lyrium. Gotcha. So we're going to be drinking the Lyrium potions. As and when we can. That's a hell of a lot of corpses. Okay. Let's just focus on taking down maybe one at a time here. Good lord, that's a lot of corpses. Let's do some below the belt stuff here. Truthfully, it's just Lyromium. It's Lyromium. Did someone say Larian? Yeah, Larian. The dudes that made uh, Divinity Original Sin. Yes. Larian. Mana Potion. Are we all happy now? Mana Pot. Blue Potion. Everyone knows that mana is blue. So we just do blue potion. We're just going to go with Mana Pultis. MP Pots. MP Mana Potions, that's what I'm going to start saying. I'm going to start saying MP Mana Potions, which is going to annoy all of you, because it's redundant to say both of those words. But I'm going to say MP Mana Pots. As you Insufficient skill to pick that lock. Well, isn't that a shame? Right, what's in this big room just here? Quick save, because we're quick save before anything. Blue Pot. Blue Pot is, it's like rip in peace. What's in this room? I bet there's nothing in this room. Oh, there's... Oh, oh, goodness me. Okay, now let's start taking on some stuff. This is not what I wanted to have happen today. This is not how I wanted to spend my uh, my day. Good lord, that's a lot of enemies. Are you using any mods? Nope. Don't need to. Let's take out these lesser shades first. These lesser shades are nothing. I like how Stan is brave enough to just stand and fight everyone. This is good. Keep shooting the lesser shade. When my dudes level up, I'm going to give them more combat slots. I bet there's nothing in this room. Just five demons just hanging out. Hey, fantastic. Sven's leveled up. 
Good man, Sven. Sweet. Let's get you some lovely level up stuff. Uh, we have not chosen a specialization for you yet. We probably want strength. Oh, you know what? Sven probably needs some constitution and some strength. Because you are the DPS. Right. Two-handed warrior stuff. Where's the tactics? Where are the more tactics slots that we can take? I can't see any more tactics slots. Is that in like another... It's probably talents and specializations, isn't it? It's talents and skills and stuff. That's another one. You'd say Reaver? We'll go for Reaver in a second. So two-handed. What have we got two-handed stuff? That's in another one. Okay. What is this one? Stunning Blows. The character's fondness. Passive. Fondness for massive two-handed weapons means that each attack offers a chance to stun the opponent. That sounds good. The character has learned to wield... Oh, interesting. Reducing penalties to attack and defense from powerful swings. So that's decent as well. Let's go with stunning blows. If he can stun someone, I'll be super happy. Stunning someone. Tactics are talents. Right, gotcha. Okay, so we'll go with talents at some point. So skills and talents are there. Do, do, do. Where are the... Where are... Because this is skills. Where do you get more... More tactic things? I can't find where the talent stuff is. Or is that just like here somewhere? Where are the talents? Because it says spells and talents. Oh, I see. It's on different pages. So Twitch chat, spells. Is it on here? It's the hammer. Oh, skills. Thank you. Right, gotcha. I see. I was being dumb. Ignore me. I was just doing dumb stuff. What's in this room? <gasps> a chair. That, that's a tiny chair. No one can fit on that chair. Literally unplayable. Naught out of ten. You would... Bre you. That's a child's chair. Good lord, Dragon Age. Sort it out. Wrong scale chairs. This is a child's room. No, it's not. This room is huge. This is not a room for children. You would not put a child in this room. That's just a silly thing to do. It gives the <laughs> breathing room. Don't be ageist. That was Peter Dinklage's chair. It was. That's where he lived. Oh, God, so many enemies. Thankfully, we're going to use this corridor as a little bit of a... Uh, spin it around that way. As a little bit of a blockage. So we can fight... Oh, I, I closed the door. I didn't mean to do that. But thankfully, Morrigan opened the door for me. Let's keep attacking these dudes. Oh! Shambling Corpse runs up to me, so we'll stun you. I do like the tactics. The tactics... Close the door again! I do like the tactics system a lot. Okay. The door is closed. It's me against him. Oh, uh, thanks. I closed the door so Morrigan couldn't see the dude to heal him. Alright, that was your fault. That was entirely your fault. Let's take down this small shambling corpse here. And we've lost... Who have we lost? We've lost both of them! Fantastic! Absolutely fantastic. Let's see how well it does taking on both of these dudes. Morrigan, you might need to turn into something in a second. Why are you attacking that one? You know what? I've got a... I've got a plan. Morrigan, it's okay. Don't worry. I've got a plan. It does involve me running away substantially. Can't come through the door. Oh, you can, actually. Right. Okay, so all I've got to do is take down one dude. Okay, take down one dude. My, my team will get back up. This is fine. They do know how to open it. That's I've just seen that they know how to open it. The plan is to sacrifice Morrigan. Well, the plan was originally to sacrifice Alistair, but he kind of volunteered for that himself way quicker. Just keep shooting you down. See what I can. There we go. Sweet. No problem at all. Never worried. Just gonna, just gonna close that there. Just gonna hang out here for a second while my health re. Uh, corpse gall. Oh, fantastic. That's exactly what I wanted. I was hoping to pick up some corpse gall. Okay, so I can't go and visit the rest of the dudes. Uh, I don't think I have any health potions. Uh, health potions? No. No, we are. We are good for health potions. I'm still in combat for some reason, though, which is not great. 
What if I go back down here? You cannot do this while in combat. Right. We might be in trouble here. We might be stealth. Yeah. Fantastic. Where are the enemy? That's the question. Like, where where would they be? Maybe I can sneak up on them. I don't think... Oh, there's, there's one of them. Is there one dude left? I like, cannot. There, there is one dude. One guy. I do not have anywhere near enough health to win this. Right, so can I make a trap? I don't have any triggers. No, we are we we are dead here. How delightfully unskilled of you. Oh! 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 Cannot activate stealth while in combat. I cannot. Okay, so we did that. Ran over here. He's quite fast at opening doors. That's the pro. Okay, right. So we've got a bit of a Scooby Doo thing going on here. Of course. Not super but keen I on this uh, this Scooby Doo thing that we that's happening right now. We could maybe. Shh. Nope. He missed me. That's fine. Maybe I can just knock him down again. I don't believe this. Okay. <laughs> okay. So we we kicked you below the belt. Then we ran away. All I've got to do now is wait for below the belt to recharge. Stealth in combat still, that's fine. We can do this. I believe in me. I know this isn't the most thrilling of Twitch screams, but it's not about that. It's never been about that. Okay. Oh, okay, now we're on one health, so let's not take any more damage. Let's not take any more damage. It's okay. This is the runaway. Oh, yeah, I've got pinning shot, haven't I? That could uh, that could probably work on something. Oh, I think it's pinning shot takes way too long to cast. That's the problem. Oh, I seem to be out of stamina as well. All right, so you get two shots off. After I've smacked him. So I can slap him. I can get two shots off. And then I can run. This is Dragon Age. This is Dragon Age. This is how we play it. I can slap him. Do the stun thing. Get two shots off. Tactics. This is tactics. Any damage over time like poison. Unfortunately not. Oh, I ran the wrong way. I ran totally the wrong way. It's okay. We're going this way. Come on. Kicked him in the balls. Ran away. Oh! He's a, he threw something at me. He did a ranged attack. Hang on, can I can I stealth? No, nope, cannot stealth while in combat. Oh, he knows where I am now. I can't cast Piercing Shot. Because unfortunately, casting Piercing Shot kind of puts me on the floor and makes me wait. The only thing I can do now is use the... Knockdown ability thing, like that. And then hopefully... <laughs> Guys, we did it. We actually did it. Will getting to my comrades get them back up? Would be helpful now. Easy game, guys. Easy game. A quick save that. Pro gamer movement right there. Pro gamer moment. Oh look, the corpse had a freaking health potion on it. The corpse had a health potion. This is stupid. This game is dumb. Okay, save the game. Let's carry on. Let's carry on. Never in any doubt. Of my abilities. Oh, that's a lot of dogs. Um, okay, let's just run back to here. And then let's get ready to fight now. Here we go. See? Oh, no, he's come all the way up to me, has he? Okay, that's fine. 
Hopefully Alistair can hold his own. I'm not sure how tough these hounds are. Oh my god, these hounds are extremely tough. Okay. I want to attack you, but with the... No, that one. Let's use the stunned. As long as that hound's attacking me, we're okay. This is why bows always beat swords. Hey, it worked pretty well, I'd say. Alistair's dead. That's fine. That's pretty much to be expected by now, to be honest. You know what? As long as I'm not dead, it's a-okay. There's only a few hounds left to go. As uh, long as Morrigan doesn't die, we're all right. I mean, she's been knocked down, but she's not dead yet. This is okay. One, two... How many are left? Three enemies? No, only two. This is fine. There's only two enemies left. Morrigan, I need you to run away. Okay? I need you to run away simply because you are able... I think I should use my own tactics now. Why is she running like that? Morrigan, why are you running like you really need the toilet? Okay? You are honestly running like you really heal you. Thanks, Morrigan. Excellent stuff. And I'm dead. Okay, let's just try and below the belt. And I'm dead. Right. Right. Okay. So, we know that in there are some very tough enemies. That was an optional fight, I think. It's not optional. It's not optional. Not for me. Okay. Not for me. Stealth. Let's be silent now. Watch how I use my stealth really well. You ready? That was stealthy. Right there. Stealthy McStealtherson. Now we see if we get one dog. Beautiful. Now we attack. And hopefully... Oh, okay, this worked really well. We only just lord over two of them. You've got to body block the door. That's what we're doing. See? Tactics. I'm not doing anything. Tactics. We got this, guys. Never in any doubt. Dragon Age fighting in doorways. I lowered the games to EV. Couldn't zoom out. Ensures battles are difficult. I mean, yeah, you can zoom out and play tactically on PC if you want to. But I'm, I'm not really playing super tactically. I need more skills so I can give them more... Uh, tactics points. Tactics points seem to be the, the thing with this. If I can get tactics points, I'll be super happy. Shame you don't have your dog. I took the dude instead. I took Sten. Uh, the choice was the, the dogs or Sten. So now we're going to save the game. And now I can walk in. And look, now there's a couple. But it's not a problem. Because we can shoot them. We can pull back. Morrigan, you can stand there. And Alistair, you can stand there. Sweet! Now you can attack there. Switch back to me. Attack the dog. Beautiful! Now we've blocked the door! Look at this. Look at this. See, this is so much better. This is why magic is OP. Magic's pretty powerful from what it seems. I should have probably been a mage, because then I could have used the freezing spell as well. Roll Spirit Warrior, become unstoppable with evasion. We could go with evasion if we need to. In the future, I'll probably build an evasion into my build. Because dexterity... Black leather collar. Yeah, we don't use that. Because dexterity is evasion, isn't it? So my dexterity right now increases... It was evasion, wasn't it? I'm sure dexterity was evasion. Yeah. Makes the character more, more likely to dodge incoming blows. Is there a way that I can see my total evasion? Is there... Defense, armor... Equip the collar. Is the way where I can see my chance of evading things right now. Take the collar for Dogkin. Okay, you know what? If we're going to use Dogkin in the future, we may as well take the black leather collar. Just in case. Always played as an elf. I've never played the games before, so I'm kind of uh, excited. Ooh, oh, oh, hang on. Interesting. What's this? Caddis of Hack on Winter's Breath. War Paint. Cold Resistance. Electricity resistance, lamb bone as a gift. Let's take all those. That means I can get Dogkin to be more powerful, can't I? Hello, charred corpse. You have gold. I have gold. Beautiful. So we've basically powered up Dogkin. If we ever need to. 
Now let's continue adventuring around. All right. Oh, it just had to be something, didn't it? It's always something. Let's start kicking you down. Getting you back. It's always something. Give the bone to Morrigan. I see what... Oh, God. Oh, good Lord. They're... Oh, no, they've got... Oh, dear. They've got a mage. That's a problem. Okay, well, thankfully, Alistair's doing his thing of taking all the damage ever. You know? Yeah, we've got lamb skin and we've got a lamb bone. Eventually, we'll have a whole lamb. That's actually the how it works. Alistair, you really need to drink something, mate, because you are basically dying. Um, we don't have any health stuff, though, so... Morrigan, can you... Ca you can't cast... Are you already casting heal? She's already healing him. She knew. She knew that was going to happen. Right, Alistair, I need you to pull back, mate. Okay, I need you to pull back to here. And I need Sven, you to pull back to there as well. I need to pull back to there. Uh, you need to go there, Alistair. Alistair, pull back. Sven, pull back. Okay, hold them there. And then Morrigan, is your healing up yet? Guys, check me out. Meta gaming like this. Just check me out. Stan and Alistair, you guys can move up to here. I don't mind you fighting in the doorway, but you're only fighting in the doorway. And I'm knocking this dude down as well. Fighting in the doorway is fine. You just want only doorway fighting. Morrigan, I need your healing back up pretty quickly. I need to keep attacking something. Possibly knocking it down. We're not looking good here. Just found your channel. Keep the great work. Ginger, thank you, man. Hopefully you're enjoying the channel. Hopefully you're enjoying the YouTube stuff. This is how the game is supposed to play on the harder difficulty. Yeah, I'm not very good at this, am I? I think it was that massive mage attack that I was unprepared for. Like, if that massive mage attack had uh, had not happened, it would have been a lot easier. It was the uh, the fireball that really got me. Hey, we've uh, we've actually done pretty well here. It was a trap, right? Okay, it was a trap. Hey, we've we've pulled it back. See, look at this. We've pulled it back. We've achieved. I uh, I never doubted. There was never any doubt in my mind. Quick save the game. Always quick save. Morgan can stun AOE with her mind blast. Seven on the bar. She can stun AOE. Interesting. Okay. Range personal wave of telekinetic force that stuns enemies caught in the sphere. So that should probably be on her tactics blast, shouldn't she? Morrigan. So where's mind blast? So health over 75% drain life. Enemy, any, winter's grasp. Being attacked by a melee attack. You know what? So, okay, if you're being attacked, what she needs to do is being attacked, surrounded by enemies... Okay, surrounded by at least, let's say being attacked by a melee attack, she needs to do Mind Blast. Because that way, she's going to knock everything back. Okay, You're not doing bad, you're saying this is not metagaming. Yeah, I am not metagaming at all. Now, I am absolutely 100% not metagaming. I have not read anything about what I should or shouldn't be doing. I have literally no clue. Needs more Venn diagrams. Let's quick save that game. Run into this uh, room just here. I have no idea if what I'm doing is good or bad. Lesser warmth balm. I love warming balms. They're great. Some more elf root. That makes elf root makes health potions, doesn't it? I just need uh, what I don't. Oh, there's the trap. I see. What I don't have are any. I don't have any vials. So if I want health booties, that's always good. I need to buy some vials, don't I? What can I steal from this room? Okay, what's over here? I need a key for that door. Not got a key for you currently. Oh, good, there you all are. Jesus! That's a lot of enemies. Okay. All right. Okay, Morrigan, I'm going to need you to do the mind blast thing right now. Okay, so that stuns pretty much everyone. That's good. So, enraged corpse. I'm going to need lots of mind blasting going on here, Morrigan. Can we just do, like, if enemy any, then mind blast? Let Morrigan become the spider. Does that make her better? Let's... Okay, you can do the spider now, Morrigan. 
do the spider thing. And after doing the spider thing, I'm not sure if that will help her. Can she still cast spells while in spider mode? Web. The spider fires a web, immobilizing it. Poison spit, dealing damage. And the basic one, which is just spider shape and does that. Spiders can't heal. I did realize that. I thought that's going to be a problem as soon as she turns into it. But what we'll do is we'll use her special poison ability. Hopefully poison spit doesn't uh, affect us. I'm dead. So that's good to know. Uh, let's undo spider form. And let's let her do her own thing. Oh, you might be dead. Whoever told me? Who said, hey Josh, I know what you want to do. You want to put Morrigan in spider form. That's what you want to do. Because you know what? That was a dumb, dumb thing to do. So where was the, the health? Drain life. Okay. Let's drain you some life. Lovely. Okay. Whoa, Morrigan, why are you... Can you heal yourself? Yes, you can. Okay. Keep attacking. Run away, Morrigan. Nope, she's dead. Come on, Alistair. It's all on you, mate. You've got this. You've got this, Alistair. It's all on you, mate. Okay, I'm, uh, I'm actually impressed Alistair didn't die just then. He died then. Okay, let's, uh, let's, let's quick load. Let's load the last save up. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. There was... I actually meant to do that. That was the point. I, that, I knew... What I'm doing is I'm falling back for a more dramatic victory. If you win first time every time, no one cares. You've got to fall back for a more dramatic victory. Spider-Man equals bad. Turn it to easy mode. No. Shan't. One thing I'm not doing is easy mode stuff. Again. I do need to make some more uh, health pultices. Pultice. Um, I need... What is it? I need fla where do you get flasks from? Like, where the frick... If, if I was a flask, where would I be? That's the question you need to ask yourself. If I was a flask, I'd probably be in the flask shop. Let's just open this door and then run back. Because I'm 99% sure. Okay, quick idea. Let's just run back to here. Ideas, 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 ideas. Everyone run back this way. Okay, sweet. Close the door. Beautiful. Now everyone attack that corpse, apart from me. And now I can keep attacking that corpse. Okay, good. We're, what we're doing now is we're fighting a much smaller, a much smaller group of enemies. A much smaller group of enemies. Now I know what I'm doing. Morrigan can keep healing me. I can keep shooting things. This is what we should be doing. Morrigan, you are basically a healing stick. Just keep us alive, all right? I understand that you are a very, very powerful, you know, super strong, amazing wizard. But right now, I just want you as a stat stick. Uh, that shambling corpse is elite. That corpse is elite. That corpse is not elite and is nearly dead. Let's kill the non-elite corpses first, then we can focus on the elite corpses. She really has the urge to turn into a spider. Does she have Cone of Cold? Not yet, no. No, Morrigan does not yet have Cone of Cold. Which is a shame. Because if she had Cone of Cold, apparently that's a pretty good attack. Got it! Spirit Shard. Okay, small spirit bonus. Corpse Gall. I like how we're just picking up dead stuff. Sweet. F5 to save again. Save the game after every single encounter. Where would one find a flask? In a ye olde flasky shop. I mean, yeah, obviously ye olde flasky shop. There's one shambling corpse left. It's trying pretty hard to win. I admire its restraint. Nice try, corpse. Nice try. You know what I think might make me stronger? I just realised this. If only there was some form of, like, enchanting your weapons to make them better. If there was some kind of enchanting system, I feel that maybe we could use said enchanting system to to improve myself. Let's take the health booties. There we go. 
If only there was an enchantment system. If only. If only there was an enchantment system run by some special kind of special child who ends up shouting enchantment at you. Hey, basement, cellar. We haven't been to the cellar yet, have we? Let's pop down to the cellar. Cellars are always pretty safe. Nothing bad should happen down here. No, it actually didn't. I thought there would be something bad, but... No, no, there's a cask. What's in the chest? Br steel braces. Gift. Interesting. Given to certain party members. A love letter. A note between wealthy paramounts. A love letter. A collection of embarrassing personal communications between the spoiled, wealthy and their objects of obsession. My darling Reginald, I'd burn for you, and because of you, please use the enclosed tincture if our love is to endure. Sorry. You are filthy! A beast! Such depravity I have never been forced to suffer. How words are so laden when they leave your lips is beyond this decent imagining. Madam, I love you! Sir Orgold. I get him. I feel him on a spiritual level. Eh? You are absolutely god-awful and disgusting and I love you. I get it. I get it. Okay? He's in. He knows what he likes. He's a confident man. Alright? He knows what he wants and he goes for it. Oh good, there's another pile of junk. Let's search through you. Studded leather gloves. Fantastic. It's actually slightly better than what I've uh, what I've got equipped. I should probably put those on. I'm not really doing too much stuff to like meta game. I probably should at some point start. Courtyard, main floor, main floor, secret passage. So do we need to go to the courtyard yet? There's probably stuff in the courtyard, isn't there? There's probably some dangerous stuff and I don't really want to go to the courtyard. The courtyard sounds like a bad place to be. Main floor, courtyard. Courtyard is the hardest encounter. Okay, so let's not go there yet, shall we? Let's see what else there is. So we've, we've done the basement, second floor, and then the courtyard. Let's go to the second floor. Let's see what's on the second floor. There's got to be some uh, some interesting stuff in this castle that we haven't yet uh, yet discovered. Look at that picture. A handsome man. Oh, we need a key. Where do we get the key for the second floor? I bet you get it from the courtyard. Where would you get the key? From the courtyard. Okay, gotcha. Right. Okay. So we've got to get the second... We've got to get the key from the courtyard, go to the second floor. That's going to be a problem, isn't it? It's going to be a problem, isn't it? I'm going to find a problem. Down to the basement, out to the courtyard. Okay. Get ready for a lot of quick saving and quick loading. Because this is probably not going to go well. So. This takes us up to the courtyard. Quick save. Here we go. You need two BDHs, a tank and one healer. Right now you have it all in the middle. Pretty much. So I'm trying to DPS. And Sten's DPSing. Alistair's tanking and Morrigan's meant to be healing. That was the plan. If this doesn't work, we'll, we'll rejig it. That's right, I am pretty good, man. How are you doing today? Okay, let's just quick save it up here. This is fine. Okay, this this there's nothing dangerous here. Look at this. There's a barrel. And so I shall. Lesser nature salve. Fantastic. Oh. Oh, oh. Oh, I'm looking at those up that skeleton archer. Shambling corpse. Okay, so. I'm gonna need all of you to come over here, guys. All of Oh, all of you over here. Come on. I mean, that's that's a lot of things. Okay. That's a lot of enemies. Okay. Where do we pin them in? We've got to pin them in somewhere. Can we pin them over here? Can we go back through the door? You cannot leave while in combat. Okay, not a problem. This is fine. Not a problem. Let's just fight through as many as we can. That was probably not the best um, start to the fight. This is fine. Explore the environment. Don't need to. Okay, know what I'm doing. 
know exactly what I'm doing. Apart from the fact that Alice is about to die, it's going pretty well. You know what, you guys have got this. You guys are fine. I'm going to leave you guys to it for a second. Um, what's going on over here? We've got... There's a gate lever. Oh! Guys, get in! Get in! Come on, you beauties! It is Sir Perth! Oh, God, I've never been so happy to see Sir Perth in my life. Look at him. Look at that beautiful man right there. Morrigan, come over here and join me. Wherever you are, I need you over with Sir Perth. Come on! Also, attack the Revenant and cast cold on it. Freeze it. There we go. Morrigan, over with me. And then I'm going to just start shooting stuff. We're going to have a great time together. This looks like real-time strategy. Yes, I'm not using much strategy, but I'm using some strategy. You know, It's, it's not real-time strategy. It's more like real-time guessing. That's what I should call it as. It's, it's real-time hope. I'm just kind of hoping everything goes well. It's real-time, though. The Perthster is back. Real-time quick saving and quick loading. I think Perth has died. Okay, so the Revenant's nearly dead. Are the Knights going to continue the battle? I think they are. So let's just run forward and try and take out the... Okay, there's a lot of skeleton archers still alive. Like, a lot of skeleton archers. Can Morrigan use her heel on a knight? Yes, she can. Okay. That's interesting. I didn't realise that. Okay, so Morrigan can actually just heal the NPCs. This actually changes everything. Dude, what are you doing? Come on. That dude's uh, heal the knight. That dude's just standing there doing literally nothing, watching his knight fight. Excellent. Your salvation is here, team. Right, where are our... Um... Right, where are... Hang on. Let's go get the dead teammates back up. Come on, you, Sven. Stop. But stop being silly, Sven. Come on. Anything that we can loot from these dudes? From the Revenant, so maybe? Spirit Bomb. I was never actually worried about that fight. I was what pretty much... Now? Pretty much always ready for it. Hey, Knight! How's it going, guys? That must have been scary, seeing your comrades be killed. Word went out to retrieve the Isle's men even more quickly. This battle is but one victory. The battle with the Darkspawn yet remains. Had it all under control, guys. All under control, literally all the time. Never worried. Where are we going from here? Uh, Redcliffe Village, that's the basement, that's the castle entrance. Yeah, castle entrance, in we go. Pop inside the big main castle, dude. All right, in we go. Of course. Whew, can't be more dangerous than that, can we? Maybe we can go back to the shop for potions. Cowards do that. Cowards need their potions. Oh, I see where I am. Basically, this is the second floor bit, and now I can open the door. Oh, you're trying to cheer people up, I see. It's not working on her. So these are our visitors. The ones you told me about, Mother. Yes, Connor. And this is the one who defeated my soldiers. The ones I sent to reclaim my village. He's possessed. Yes. And now it's staring at me. What is it, Mother? I can't see it well enough. This... This is just a man, Connor. Like your father. Oh, I am tired of hearing about him. Besides, he's nothing at all like father. Look at him. Breathing and not dying in the slightest. I could change that, mind you. Connor, I beg you. Don't hurt anyone. Ma Mother? What? What's happening? Where am I? Oh, thank the Maker. Connor. Connor, can you hear me? Get away from me, fool woman. You are beginning to bore me. Grey Warden. Please don't hurt my son. He is not responsible for what he does. In that case, everything is forgiven. Absolutely fine. No problem at all. You, He can stay alive. 
I mean, the village, all the zombies that are attacking the village, don't worry about it. I'll tell all the people that died and all the families of the people that died that it wasn't actually his fault. I will go back and I will say, hey, look, the kid is possessed by a demon, but in the kid's defense, he didn't mean to. And they'll be like, so you killed him? No, 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 no. No, his mum said that he was actually a good kid and he didn't mean to do any of this. So I let him live. That seems fine. I'm a hero. But the zombies will keep coming. I am a hero. But zombies will come every night and attack the village. I'm a hero. Yeah, okay, right. Um, is he the evil force? Is he the evil force you spoke of? You've been protecting him this entire time. What did you do with Banti? Hang on, yeah, where's... Why is Ban... Where's Bantigan? Why is Bantigan, like, doing... Rolling around and stuff? What's happening? Here I am. Here am I. <laughs> I like him better this way. <laughs> no more yelling. Now he amuses me. <laughs> oh, no, they didn't mean to do this. It was that mage, the one who poisoned Demon. He started all this. He summoned this demon. Connor was just trying to help his father. And made a deal with the demon to do so? Foolish child. It was a fair deal. Father is alive. Just as I wanted. I can now, hear the demon's voice the really and faintly in the back. To conquer the world. Nobody tells me what to do anymore. Nobody tells him what to do. Nobody! <laughs> Quiet, Uncle! I warned you what would happen if you kept shouting, didn't I? Yes, I did. But let's keep things simple. This man will have the audience he seeks. Tell us, what have you come here for? I was just hoping to find Ban Tegan, to be honest, mate. Um, I, I, I mainly needed to see Arl Eamon. So you're a concerned well-wisher. Why didn't you say that in the first place? All the sneaking around and killing is so unnecessary. But father is so very ill. We really shouldn't disturb him. Isn't that right, mother? I... I don't think... Of course you don't. Ever since you sent the knights away, you do nothing but deprive me of my fun. Frankly, it's getting dull. I crave excitement and action. This man spoiled my sport by saving that stupid village, and now he'll repay me. Uh, oh. I see. Okay. So, Bantigan, guard, 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 guard. They've all got crossbows. Fantastic. Don't hurt Tegan. Yeah. You know what? We're going to attack... Everyone's going to attack the guard, and I'm going to attack that guard specially. Let's do this. Everyone on the guards. Let's see how well this goes. First of all, full-on guard damage. Let's see if we can just knock down this guard. And then after that, we'll take on all the guards. We're going to leave Bantigan for the time being. I kind of... I, okay, right, so you, Alistair, I don't want attacking Bantigan. Yeah, just don't attack Ban Tegan, whatever you do. Let's see if we can keep him alive for some reason. I don't think the game lets you kill Tegan. We have dealt with bigger groups. That is very true. We have dealt with bigger... You know what? I, first of all, let's let's get into this room to get their archers away from us. Okay? Even just a few minutes away from the archers is going to help. Because they're going to run round, I know that. But if we can keep their archers away... I'll be happy. Yeah, because we've got two archers down now. Let's get everyone on these guys. You on him. Heal. Alistair, I need you to drink something, mate, because you are dying. Oh, does it drink it from the... Okay, obviously takes it straight away. That's good. Right, come on. Everyone on this now. Uh, Alice is nearly dead. The guard's going down. Okay, that guard's down. That's good. I'm trying as hard as I can to... Because basically the guard's... The guard's strengths are the fact that they've got crossbows. 
So if we keep the guards away from us as much as we can. There we go. Keep the guards away as often as we can. Beautiful. This is good. Crossbows do hurt quite a lot. You can kill Tegan, he won't die. Mage CC, military G. Mage CC, let's get this. Uh, was it horror? It wasn't horror. It was Mind Blast, wasn't it? I shall do it. Mind Blast knocks everyone down. Okay, for some reason, Alistair's run off by himself to attack that dude, so. Is that the last guard? Okay, yeah. Let's get the last guard done then. Let's kill the last guard. There's one guard left, and then Bantegan's not dead. Okay, so we've frozen him. Who else? There's a guard there, okay. Do we have to kill everyone apart from Bantegan for the time being? Let's see what we can do. Let's see if we can take these guards down. Kill ev No, kill Tegan, he won't die. Okay. Right, now we start and take him down. Come on, Ban. Hopefully he's not dead. All right. Oh, brilliant. Are you all right? Not like death much. I am better now. I think my mind is my own again. Blessed Andrastin, I would never have forgiven myself had you died. Not after I brought you here. What a fool I am! Please, Connor's not responsible for this. There must be some way we can save him. I can save him by killing him. You also knew about this all along. I... Yes. I didn't tell you because I believed we could help him. I still do. I'm sorry, my lady, but Connor has become an abomination. He's no longer your son. You! You did this to Connor! I didn't. I didn't summon any demon. I told you. Please, if you'll let me help. Help? You betrayed me! I brought you here to help my son, and in return you poisoned my husband? This is the mage you spoke of? Didn't you say he was in the dungeon? He was. I assumed the creatures had killed him by now. He must have been set free. That's right. And I stand by my decision. Or... He'll get what's coming to him, don't worry. He's no more to blame than you are, Lady Azold. Or I thought he'd be useful, seeing as he helped start this. Useful? After everything he did, he should be executed. Without him, none of this would have happened. Your secrecy made his actions possible, Isold. But I... I know what you must think of me, my lady. I took advantage of your fear. I'm sorry. I never knew it would come to this. Well, I shan't turn away his help. Not yet. And if Connor is truly an abomination... He's not always the demon you saw. Connor is still inside him, and sometimes he breaks through. Please. I just want to protect him. Isn't that what started this? You hired the mage to teach Connor in secret, to protect him. If they discovered Connor had magic, then they'd take him away. I thought if he learned just enough to hide it, then... Yes, yes, that's, um, that's the... Where is Connor? Why is he, uh, ran away? I think he ran upstairs, to the family quarters. Violence scares him. I, I know that sounds strange. He may have run up to his room, or... Right. He might be waiting to ambush us. I don't know. The fighting may have scared Connor into... coming out again, and so he ran. So you're saying he may be vulnerable? I... perhaps. Is there... Is there no other way? Right, okay. Joan, what can you add to this discussion? The demon in Connor needs to be destroyed. Killing Connor is the easiest way to do that, certainly. But there is another way. A mage could confront the demon in the Fade without hurting Connor himself. What do you mean? Is the demon not within Connor? Not physically. The demon approached Connor in the Fade while he dreamt and controls him from there. We can use the connection between them to find the demon. You can enter the Fade, then? And kill the demon w without hurting my boy? No, but I can enable another mage to do so. 
It normally requires lyrium and, and several mages, but I have blood magic. It's lyrium. Okay. Right, what difference does that make? Lyrium provides the power for the ritual, but I can take that power from someone's life energy. This ritual requires a lot of it, however. Oh. All of it, in fact. So, someone must die? Someone must be sacrificed? Yes, and then we send another mage into the Fade. I can't enter because I'm doing the ritual. Maybe I shouldn't have said anything. It's not much of an option. Right. So, well, I mean, someone's going to die either way. Indeed. Either my son or the sacrifice. Let it be me, then. I will give my life for his... What? Isolde, are you mad? Eamon would never allow this. Either someone kills my son to destroy that thing inside him, or I give my life so my son can live. To me, the answer is clear. Blood magic. How can more evil be of any help here? Two wrongs don't make a right. It does seem like a sensible choice with a willing participant. Connor is blameless in this. He should not have to pay the price. It, uh, it's up to you, my friend. You know more about such things than I do, and it's your companion going into the Fade. The decision is yours. Would Morrigan be able to kill a demon? That's the question. Because we'd basically be sending Morrigan in to fight a demon in the Fade. Oh, I don't know. I really don't know. Wait and go to the Mage Tower if you want to save the child, or Alistair will hate you. Destroy the child, corrupt them all, option four. Right, is there another way to get into the Fade? You can find Lyrium and more mages at the Circle of Magi, if they would even do it. That circle's not too far from here. That is an excellent point. One of the treaties is also for the Circle of Magi, after all. The tower is about a day's journey across the lake. You could attempt to get the mages help. But what will happen here? Connor will not remain passive forever. I will take that chance. Very well. I will keep Jowan here as a precaution. He says he wants to help, so he will keep an eye on Connor with us. Go to the tower quickly, then. The longer you are away, the greater the chances of disaster. I will go and do literally... Oh, they've rallied! What? Suit of armour? If I just I shall do it. run back here... Hang on, why are we now being attacked by suits of armour? Are those dudes going to do anything to help? I swear to God, if you guys just stand there and... Do... We are so low on health. Okay, Morrigan, I'm going to need you casting heal a lot. Right, what is this? Why am I suddenly being ambushed by suits of armour? This is a bug. Okay, so... Right, Morrigan, I need you to heal, but you can't. Sven, I need you out of there. Oh, no, you're dead. Fantastic. Okay, cool. How hard are these suits of armour to kill? That's the question. Because I'm going to... They look pretty tough. Like... Okay, they are... Holy crap. They are ripping through us right now. These suits of armors are ridiculously powerful. That is... That is a lot. How about that fan patch? Okay, cool. We've lost them as well. Um... If I run... You are in danger, Morrigan. Your sacrifice will not be forgotten. Key required. Fantastic. Let's just run through here then, shall we? This is fine. This is fine. Can we go up here? We cannot do that while in combat. Can suits of armor open doors? Yes. Can they... They can walk around. Guys, I think we're in trouble. Okay. I don't think I'm going to be able to survive this. Right. Quick, quick load. I swear to God, if the quick save was before the battle. Whenever you get into that room, it will trigger a fight. Okay. Okay. Let's do this then, hey, shall we? Honor, Let's just no, skip past honor. everything. Get all Please the way. My son. You've been... Why did you want Bantigan? We're going to end up fighting anyway, aren't we? Rip the great chin. 
Need to see Arl Eamon. Dude runs away. Combat starts. So don't go into this room. So what you're saying is whatever you do, just don't go into that room. Right. Let's get everyone back here. Okay. Get along. Let's start off with a get everyone out the range of... There we go. Get everyone out the range of the rangers. And now take down guards one at a time. Sweet, this could work. Get everyone to here. And now we just take down guards. And I'll just... I'll keep... I'll keep Van Tegan on the floor. And we keep attacking the guards as and when we can. This is much easier. As long as everyone stays here, we should be okay. Zoom out a bit more. And now you know what? Everyone just wreck Van Tegan. Much easier. In fact, everyone run to this side. Run to this side. Hopefully. It should keep the guards that have ranged attacks away from us for a second. Sweet. And now with the guards that have ranged attacks away, we can take them down. This is much easier. Let's see if I can keep knocking this dude down. If I can keep knocking Ban Tegan down, I'll be okay. The load of belt damage is pretty good. You guys can deal with the guards. I'll take down this dude. Because Tegan's the problem here. So just don't go in that room. Whatever you do, do not go into that main room. Because that room seems to be the problem. Big strategy with big man tactics. Hey, we've got this, alright? We're doing good. Don't you pretend that we ain't doing good right now. Let's get a bit closer. Guys, we just rocked that, okay? We just absolutely rocked that. That was brilliant. Right, you knew about this all along. Uh, what else did we choose? Uh, I thought it'd be useful. We're going to get to that bit. Hopefully, this way there won't be those enemies. Right, what can you add, Joan? No, but I can enable um, another mage to do so. What does that make the difference? Yes. And then we send another Someone's going to die. It, uh, Must it be another way to enter the fade. Circle's not too far what from here. here. Sweet. Quick save. Okay, with quick save, we're all good now. You know, I'd be okay with fighting that, those random armors if everyone had full health and stuff. Like, if we... Can we take the guard's armor and stuff? Oh. Can we can we loot the guard? Oh, yep. Yeah, health booties. That's good. Any more looting to be going on? Any more? Oh, yep. Yeah, there's looting stuff over here. You should be able to wreck those knights now we've come back. This is good. Inventory full. Metal shard. Ah, it's a trap thing, isn't it? Okay. We need to... Well, if we need to travel to the... If we need to travel to the Magi... I like this because the Magi are... We need to get the Magi as an army to help us anyway, don't we? So if we can actually travel to the Magi, then we can probably do some of their quests at the same time. But what I'm also going to be able to do is travel back to my camp and buy some stuff that makes health potions. So if I travel to my camp, will we get the ground? Because sometimes the ground doesn't load. Oh, no, this is good. So, the major part sucks, okay? It's time for enchantment. No, we're not going to do enchantment yet, don't worry. Um, who's the shop? There's a shop, isn't there, somewhere? There's a dude that sells things. Were you the dude that sells things? Levi, how's it going, man? You're a hard man to find. Where are my manners? The name is Levy. Levy Dryden. Did Duncan ever mention me? Levy of the coins? Levy the trader? Uh, I'm Twitch chat, but I've never heard of you. Um. Really? He never told you of old Levy? We've known each other for years. But here I am carrying on while you have a blight to stop. Don't want to waste your time. But you see, Duncan promised that together we'd look into something important for the Wardens. And for me. But poor Duncan's. Well, no more. I ah, this is the DLC. What I know he would want his work carried on. His pledge fulfilled. You know what? I have pressing matters to attend right to, mate. You I will uh, come back to you in the future. Who's the dude that sells stuff? Is it Bowden? Bowden sells things, doesn't he? Something you need? I'm sure either my boy or I can help you out. Yeah, let me see your wares, Bowden. 
I'm sure you'll be pleased with the goods my boy and I have collected, and with your discount. I do love discount, it's true. Right. What do we and do we not need? I probably don't need lesser Lyrian potions, so I've got enough basic Lyrian potions. Can I sell those? Sell five? Yeah, you can have those. Death root extract. You make poisons. I don't use poison. You can have all those. Spirit balms. Soothing effect on the mind. Resistance to spirit damage. Nope. Cowards need resistance. No resistance. Lesser ice salve. Ice resistance. Again, nope. Cowardsness. Lesser elixir of grounding. Resistance to electricity. Grease trap could be useful. Spirit shard. Resistance to something. Spirit resistance? No, cowards. Demonic eye core. Possibly useful. Right, you know, I probably want to sell you all of these things, mate. Studded leather gloves. You, I've got so much armor and weapons that I've been just picking up. See, I'm just carrying so much. Like, you don't need four studded leather armor, do you? Sang, thank you for the sub. I've always watched the clips and main YouTube. Love your stuff. Keep it up. Oh, thank you very much. Welcome to the uh, the Twitch stream. Hopefully you're having a lovely day. Some would say traps are cowardly. They would be wrong, okay? When the enemy uses traps, cowardly. When I use traps, courageous, clever, brilliant, tactician. When the enemy uses traps, it's because they don't know how else to fight. When I use traps, it's because I know exactly how to fight, and it's with traps. Blood Dragon Plate requires 38 strength. I do not have that. Small Shield, nope, don't need any of you. Harvest Aegis, might need that. Clothing, nope, definitely don't need clothing. They could be useful. Studded Leather Armor, I don't think anyone's wearing it right now, so again, pointless. Okay, cool, what do you sell? Do you have any, uh, okay, Pultices, we need Health Pultices. What about Crafting ingredients? Flasks times 99? Well, okay. I see we should basically go with lots of flasks, because they cost 150. And, okay, so a health pull is 150. So there's no point buying a, a flask if you're going to make it into a lesser health pull tea. You may as well go with all of those. Um, let's get all, all of you. How much gold have I got? I've got four gold. I might as well buy all of your regular ones as well. So they're good. Uh, flasks. How many... So I've got Elf Root. Elf Root is eight, and that makes health stuff. So I'll buy eight flasks. Eight flasks, and then I should be able to use... I don't have the special healing skill, but Morrigan does. So we'll be able to use Morrigan's skill to make health things. Sweet! All right, we've got it. I'm going to give uh, Dogkin the bone that I got. Hey, boy! How's it going, Dokken? Oh, why you little? Wait, what? Your furry friend here took offence at me getting near his food. He spat at me. Look. Yeah, he's he's a war dog, mate. That's he's a war dog. He could have bit your entire hand off, mate. And don't you think I don't know it? Sometimes I forget that he's a war dog. That'll teach me. Hey, Dokken. I once heard a really old legend about how the hound warriors in the days of the old tribes would feed their Mabari the flesh of the vanquished. Well, that's what I heard anyway. It would sometimes be human flesh. <laughs> oh, like you can tell the difference. Well, you know, maybe you've already been fed something. Someone. Don't scare the dog. Alistair, stop being a dick to the dog. Don't listen to Alistair. He's a he's idiots. Hey. <laughs> How do I give the the bone to the dog? I've got the the thing. Is it gifts or something? Plot items, gifts, bones, something like that. Sure, it was. I'm sure I picked it up somewhere. Lamb bone. That was it. Do you just keep talking to them? Inventory. Give it to Alistair. Oh, okay. Are you, do you just want me to give the bone to Alistair? Do you need me to say stop it? Is that what you need me to say? Because I'll do that. Oh, okay. Dogkin. And then you just uh, click and drag lamb bone. Excellent. He seems happy. Cool. Excellent. Dogkin has had it. Save before. No, we're good. We're good. I'm going to do that. Okay, who should we give gifts to? Because I have more gifts, don't I? 
So small carved statuette. Uh, Morrigan, do you want a small carved statuette? A fine gift. You have my thanks. I am so good at gift giving. I'm so good. You know what, Morrigan? Do you want some steel braces? Exquisite carvings of warhounds on them. Um, that's probably a thing I should give to Alistair. Hey, Alistair, do you want... I know that you like warhounds. Here you go. Is that for me? Really? It is Alistair. Wow. I'm... Wow. Alistair, they are for you, okay? Morrigan, I've got more gifts for you. Do you want some... Um, what what else is a gift? I, I don't have any other gifts for you. Sorry. Should we go chat to Morrigan, see how she's doing? I mean, I'm not sure who I'm going to romance yet. I'm probably going to romance Stan. I don't think you can romance Stan, but I'm going to give a damn good go. You know what? I'm going to try and romance the, the merchant. That way I'll get some cheaper prices on stuff. Here we go. Hey, Morrigan, how's it going? What do you wish of me? Ah, I just want to ask something personal. We are in camp, so tis as good a time as any. Why are you still here? I am here because Flemeth commanded me to aid you. Why? Do you wish me to leave? I can do so if you prefer. Uh, no, no, I don't want you to leave. Do you, do you want to leave? If I wanted to leave, then I would go. I remain, so do not ask such pointless questions. I love her so much. It's that attitude. It's just she doesn't take any shit from anyone. You know, it's that. That is a good attitude right there. Um, Morrigan, I need you to do some spell... Oh, I can't... Here we go. Talents, Morrigan. Was it skills? It was skills, wasn't it? I need you to do some stuff for me. And yet we can't access it until we're out of the, the camp, annoyingly. Can you not have them in your team? So we go to skills. Can we not open the, the skills menu until we leave camp? Not in... What a dumb design thing. The fact that you can't do it in that. Right, let's leave. Right, where are we going to? It's the sir, so Morrigan, Indeed. Alistair, yes. Stan. Yes. You guys are all coming with me. We know the team's the dream team. The dream team. Where's the cir circle tower? There we go. Um, yeah, circle of mage eyes. Why can we not go there? Do we need to go to the Lake Kalahad docks first? These docks are now the only, ah, they're the only means to reach the tower. Fantastic. Let's go to the tower first, and then we will... Oh, we're travelling all the way around, are we? Okay. All. The... Oh, we got into a fight, guys. Don't worry, I'm sure it's something we can do. If your character walked into a bar, would the bartender ask why the long face? Yes, they would. A bere shiran and lots of small blight wolves. Okay, cool. Let's take out the small blight wolves first, take out the big thing That's afterwards. Wish. Might need to run away from the big main thing. Sweet. Okay. Small things first. You have been waylaid by enemies. You must defend yourself. Yeah. That's what it reminds me of. Oh, see? Alistair's already drinking through his health putises. Already drinking through them. Morrigan just took a lot of damage in one go. Thankfully, she can freeze that dude. I'm going to be real. I, was, I thought we were in trouble. But no. Turns out that actually... Turns out, actually, god damn, our team is pretty good. Look at that. Okay, we just we just wrecked that uh, that enemy right there. Thankfully, the wolf dropped some health stuff, which is good. So that is the entryway blocked, and that is the rubble blocked. We should be able to leave now. Any uh, exits through here? I'm super impressed that we were able to uh, to do that. Blocked, blocked. Have you got to find, like, the one exit that isn't blocked or something? Where's... Oh, there we go. Right, so they're all blocked apart from the thing. Elf fruit on the ground. I should have got it. I forgot it and I missed it. My bad. I keep forgetting this is like a um, an actual RPG as well. Death root. That sounds ominous. But we'll pick it up. Does elf fruit show up on the map? I'm not sure if it does. It should do. I don't know if it does. There's a dude there. There's a barrel. Hey, I need to go to that big tower over there. And this dude needs to take me. You don't think so? Okay, cool. Don't forget... Oh, yeah, I've got to craft some stuff, haven't we? Morrigan. Crafting. Flask. Create item. 
create. Sweet. Now that should mean we now have... We do indeed. Lesser health booties, loads of them. This is so much better. Okay, good. Oh, no. How very fitting that they would build a prison for mages in the middle of a lake and make it look like a giant phallus. Yep, yep, we're about to... We're about to enter the dick prison, so brace yourselves. Let's just quick save again. Right, guys, I'm going to take a, uh, before we run in, let's take a five minute break, quick bathroom break, and then when we come back, we shall carry on. So, five minutes away, because I'm drinking a lot of tea. I'm drinking a lot of tea, okay? Do the Stone Prisoner DLC. I'll get round to the DLC eventually. It's a long RPG. We have a long way to go. Right, guys, five minute break, quick bathroom break, and I will see all you beautiful people in five minutes' time. Okay, let's do this. The timer doesn't... The timer doesn't matter, okay? The timer's just a thing that I put on to make people think I've got things under control, all right? I'm a teacher. I was a teacher. Remember this. So the timer doesn't dismiss you. I do. Okay, that's the attitude that I've had for a long time. It's the first thing they teach you in teacher training college. They teach you to stand in front of people and say, the bell doesn't dismiss you. I do. Okay? The bell is for the teachers, not for the students. Remember that. Right, let's go and uh, deal with the giant dick tower. Hey, Carol. You. You're not looking to get across to the tower, are you? Because I have strict orders not to let anyone pass. You have exactly the same hair as my friend. That's what I would say. I would say, Carol, why do you have Alistair's hair? Alistair, why have you given this guy your hair? 
You look like Alistair ordered from Wish. That's what you look like. Okay? If I went to Alibaba and ordered 50 Alistairs, you would arrive 50 times. Right, I'm a Grey Warden. I seek the assistance of the Mages. Oh, you're a Grey Warden, are you? Prove it. Right. I, I have these documents here. Yes. Oh, a Grey Warden seal. Aha. So you're claiming to be one of those. You know, I have some documents too. They say I'm the Queen of Antiva. What do you think of that? I think Aunt Antiva must be, must, must be lovely. I mean, not much. You're obviously a Templar. And if you can't prove you're who you say you are, I'm not letting you in. Anyway, it was nice chatting with you. Now, on your way, right now, go. Right. Okay. Uh, your superior won't like that you're giving me trouble, mate. He won't know if you never get in, will he? Oh, I've outsmarted you. If I were more flexible, I'd pat myself on the back. Right. My patience is wearing really thin with you. Uh, is that bad? Look, I'm uh, just trying to do my job. I'll take you right now, just like you wanted. Yeah, please, please, please do. Come along, I suppose. <laughs> what? <laughs> do the thing. No, please. No, I'm angry. OK, then. Ooh. And I want two men stationed within sight of the doors at all times. Do not open the doors without my express consent. Is that clear? Yes, sir. The doors are barred. Are they keeping people out or in? Now we wait and pray. Yeah, what's, uh, you're in charge? Who are you? I explicitly told Carol not to bring anyone across the lake. We're dealing with a very delicate situation. You must leave for your own safety. Yeah, no. The Majors have an obligation to help the Grey Wardens. I am weary of the Grey Wardens' ceaseless need for men to fight the Darkspawn. But it is their right. You'll find no allies here. The Templars can spare no men. And the Majors are indisposed. I shall speak plainly. The Tower is no longer under our control. Abominations and demons stalk the tower's halls. This is why we cut the tongues from mages in Parvolan. I will admit to agreeing with your companion. Maker knows the Kunari would not have gotten themselves into this position. I see. Right. I should do the stone prisoner. Five minute DLC. Get a companion. Should do it before anything. Yeah, but who would I change? The only person I could possibly change out is um, Sven. Because I like the banter between Alistair and Morrigan. I'm not going anywhere. So we may as well get uh, get Sven gone. I am... I, am, I understand this. Twitch chat is the least useful member of the party. Okay? I don't do anything. I have a bow. That That's basically it. All right? Your game keeps crashing while playing. Yes, reduce your graphics. Reduce your graphics down really low. Got to keep Alistair and Morrigan. You have. I've got the chin... Okay, we've got the chin. If we replace Sven with... What's his character? Shale? You keep saying? If we replace Sven with Shale, is that a good decision? Is that a thing that we want to do? Okay, we, we may we may want to do that. We'll see how that works. Okay, cool. Right. Um, sounds like the Templars haven't been doing their job very well. My men did what they could, but it wasn't enough. They took us by surprise. We were prepared for one or two abominations. Not the horde that fell upon us. I've just realised the Templar logo is the coaster that I have downstairs in the living room. Gorgeous. Hello. Is that coaster in the living room a Templar logo? Yep, yeah, yes please. I knew I recognised it from somewhere. Right. Right, so uh, why don't you rally your men and go and kill everyone? I will destroy the tower, raise it to the ground. But I cannot risk more of my men. The doors remain shut, and they will protect us for now. That's not really a solution, mate. Doors can be broken. We do not mean for the doors to stay closed forever. Everything in the tower must be eliminated. I have sent word to Denerim, calling for reinforcements and the right of annulment. What good will that do? The mages are probably already dead. 
Any abominations remaining in there must be dealt with, no matter what. This situation is dire. There is no alternative. Everything in the tower must be destroyed so it can be made safe again. Right. The mages are not defenseless. I also need them alive to do a thing. If any are still alive, the Maker himself has shielded them. No one could have survived those monstrous creatures. It is too painful to hope for survivors and find... nothing. Right. You shut them all in, mate. Okay. Okay, what is this? I'll go in and look for some survivors. I assure you, an abomination is a force to be reckoned with, and you will face more than one. Yes, abominations cannot stand against me. If you succeed, I would owe you much, enough that I would pledge my Templars to your cause. Without word from Denerim, I must determine our course. Surely destroying Darkspawn is a worthy goal. Yeah, we have an agreement then. A word of caution. Once you cross that threshold, there is no turning back. The great doors must remain barred. I will open them for no one until I have proof that it is safe. I will only believe it is over if the first enchanter stands before me and tells me it is so. If Irving has fallen, then the circle is lost and must be destroyed. May Andraste lend you her courage, whatever you decide. Are there any quests in this game that are time sensitive? Like, I needed to get the mage's approval and the circle's help to get into the fade so I could go and save the kid. But if I if I like spend like weeks just messing around and then come back, they're not gonna be upset, are they? They're not gonna be angry or annoyed. So like if I leave this to go back to the world map and I just pop off to where was that I should go to? Okay, people are telling me to do the they're telling me to do the, the stone thing. That is a quest that is time sensitive. Redcliffe Night Battle was time sensitive. Right, gotcha. Okay, cool. So, is that the quest that we're on now? Redcliffe lost Eerie in the castle. Yeah, that doesn't seem to have much of a time thing linked up to it. So, I will go and save the kid, but I need... I need to go and... Where is it? It was... Was it the Blight thingy? The Isle of Radcliffe? That was the one. Seek the Circle's help to free Connor. I need to go and free Connor. Yeah, let's go and grab all the mages and sort that out. Yeah, was it the was it a temple thingy? Yeah, temple. Oh, I never realised that. Yeah, I've had this coaster downstairs in the living room for ages. Turning upside down. I know. <laughs> I know it was upside down. I was seeing if anyone else noticed. Okay? Just I just it's the Oh, hello Apollo. Hang on. Hang on a second. Oh, come here, you. Come on. Come here. I know that you haven't said hello to everyone for a while, have you? This is Apollo for the anyone. Invisible dog. <laughs> the invisible dog. Oh, oh, he's super sleepy. He's literally just immediately. He's not even remotely sleepy. He just wants to cuddle. He just you. wants cuddles. Is that what he wants? He's yes. got lots of energy. He just wants cuddles. <laughs> for anyone who's not been on the stream before, this is Apollo. Apollo was a dog. Apollo, say hello. Well done. Good hello. And for those of you who have been on the stream before, you may remember Piper. Piper is another dog. Uh, Pi <laughs> Piper has a thing about my face. It always needs licking. Come here, Piper. You may do the lick. This is how I clean myself. So you don't need to shower. What you need to do is just get yourself, get yourself a little dachshund. And just let them stand on your shoulder. Just let them do this, pretty much. This is how I uh, style my hair in the mornings. That explains the hair. Yeah, see? Piper licks my dry face. That is how I combat the dry face. Now we've discovered how Alistair does his hair. A tiny dachshund. These are my war hounds. These are... Apollo, do your war face. If I scritch you, will you do a smile? You do the smile thing? He sometimes smiles because he likes having his head scritched. I'm gonna do the war face. What's your war face? Do a do a war face. War. War. Oh, I don't think he has a war face. Oh, that was right in the nose, that Piper. Thanks for that. He has an a woo face. This is what I wake up to every morning. Every morning we'll wake up, we'll let the dogs out their beds, and Piper there. 
Piper will immediately jump onto the bed and just start licking my face. This is what'll happen. Right. Okay. I need to. She, she won't stop licking ever. She will literally never, ever, ever stop licking. This is what it is. So, okay, Piper, P Apollo, you good? Had a cuddle? Big cuddle. Okay, now we need to go back now. Right, I've got to go back to work, guys. I love you. I know, I know. I, I know. Thanks. Thanks. High five? Yeah, that kind of worked. <laughs> it was kind of a high five. Okay, cool. Right, my face has been cleaned. My hair's been styled. Let's get, uh, let's go back to work. Thank you, gorgeous. Right, we can um, we can put the, the 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 coaster downstairs now. Now I know what it is. Okay, cool. Let's uh, let's continue on. What was the DLC that you told me to do? Everyone was saying, do the DLC, do the DLC, do the DLC. Premium content. What was it called? Um, I'm pretty sure I've got all the. I should have all the DLC. Yeah, downloadable content. I've got literally everything. So, what was it? You guys said there was a thing I should do. The Stone Prisoner. I've got the blood dragon armor already. I've actually got that, you know, in my inventory. It's just that the other parts are available from Bowden in the party camp. Oh, do we have even more stuff? Of course we do. I'm oh, okay. With this game. Right, so what is this? That is the Kirkwall symbol. The Kirkwall symbol. Dragon Does it go up or down? It's a, it's a necklace. So that's a, that's a necklace from Dragon Age 2, in case anyone's played that before. And then we've got. We've got Inquisition dog tags. We've got one dog tag that says lead them or fall. And then on the other dog tag, there is the Inquisition logo with the eye and the sword through it. That's pretty cool. I didn't realise we had all this. Dra I mean, to be fair, Dragon Age is your favourite game, isn't it? It is. And now, I am obsessed and now I'm going to finish it and become obsessed with it as well. Yeah. I mean, you can right. wear, it, wear, the, wear the jewellery while you're playing if you want to be I'll do that next impressive. stream. And we'll do that next stream. It's more impressive to show people. Yes. That's what it is. Right, so I should do the Stone Prisoner. Uh, some copies of Dragon Age Origins contain a redemption code for this content. Check your game's package. It's already enabled. That's fine. Okay. Crafted by the ancient dwarves as their first line of defense against the Darkspawn, the dread sentinels known as golems dwindled in number after the art of their creation was lost. Shale, one of the few golems remaining, was found in the deep roads, reactivated and brought to the surface, may prove to be the Grey Warden's most effective weapons. Okay, as a recruitable party member who is fully integrated into the main campaign, brand new plots and adventure areas, fantastic new items. Where do we get shale from? Okay, where do we get shale from? Right. Oh, yeah, the blacksmith's daughter. She's probably dead. Um, that's a shame. Sulcher Pass. Okay, the bottom left of the map. Yeah, we, we promised the blacksmith that we would go and save his daughter, and then we did not do that, did we? Oh, no, yeah. Should we go and tell the blacksmith that his daughter is definitely not doing great? Okay. Redcliffe Dungeons, bottom left of the map. I'm, uh, I'm not seeing... I'm not seeing anywhere to go for this to Orlay. But where, where do we go for her? Yellow icon. That one? Oh, Soldier's Pass. Okay, cool. Gotcha. Did you see my VIP? Iggy, I did. I'll put you on a list. Right, basically, we've maxed out VIPs. We have maxed out VIPs on the channel, which means I'll need to do a VIP reset, but I'm recording everyone's name down who applies for VIP. My new hair is amazing. Thank you. Say, styled by dog. Styled by dog. Iggy mode jungle. Sorted and sorted for you. Want to go back and replay this? What's VIP? It's a little thing on Twitch where you get a little diamond by your name. Okay, so we should go to Soldier's Pass. Let's just pop over here and see what's going on. You have two VIP redemptions. I do have many VIP redemptions. I will eventually get there. What are the most oppressive, worst monetization systems you've actively participated in with your dollars? Never winter. And then I stopped participating. Gary, thanks for the cheers, man. Remarkably kind of you. Okay, so uh, we are here. And fallen tree blocked. Felix, how's it going, Felix? What's up? Uh, you'll have to forgive me if I seem a bit nervous. Not many people travelling in this part of Ferelden. Of course, that's part of my problem, isn't it? Mule got spooked by a wisp and ran off into the woods. Now what do I do? Are you asking me to find your mule? 
Oh, no, no, no. I sent the elf to do that. I wouldn't dream of asking a stranger to do it. Allow me to introduce myself. Felix de Grosbois. Merchant and entrepreneur at your service. Okay, I'm Twitch chat. Pleased to meet you. I don't normally take this route, but with the war, I was hoping for a bit of luck and good weather in the mountains. Sadly, I've had neither. Ugh, this trip has been one miserable disaster after another. I don't suppose you consider helping a fellow out? Hello, Glorian. Thank you very much for the Prime, sir, man. This will keep appearing in my chat until I click it. So there, that's exactly how I get you. Okay, it's part of my tactics. Since someone asked about the good old games version, I have it, never crashed. It's, uh, oh, the egg's a different one by default, doesn't need the 4 gigabyte patch. Yeah, buying off good old games seems to be better. Yeah, what do you need, mate? Of all the other things that went wrong, the worst is this artifact I brought in Jada. It's a control rod, I'm told, for a golem. No point in me keeping it, however, as I'll never get to use it. But, uh, maybe you could? How much do you want? For, what, what is a control... What's the catch, mate? Why would you give me a golem control rod? The catch? Uh, yeah, I uh, suppose it is a catch, isn't it? The catch is that the golem didn't come with the rod. <laughs> it's supposed to be down in the village down south, waiting to be activated. Even if I could get down... I'm there, sure that's the same voice actor of Rallister. I understand the place has been overrun by Darkspawn. That's not such an issue for adventurous types like yourself, surely? Or I'm hoping that's so, at least. When you're a voice actor, there's a lot you can do to change your, you know, specific cadence and specific inflection, but there's always that deep underlying sound that is you. And I'm pretty sure that is still the, the same voice actor that's doing Alastair, because he's, he's remarkably similar to... It's, it's the very, very, very same, same pace, same flow. It might not be. It might not be. I might be wrong. Right. Um, I mean, yeah, I think I could use this this rod if you if you want to give it to me, mate. That's fine. Just as well. As I mentioned before, you'll find the golem down south in a town called Honleet. I'll mark it here on your map. Just Alistair was voiced by Steve Valentine. Yes, star. he did. That he was. Wake the golem up, so I'm told. I hope it works. Yeah, Steve Valentine also did uh, Harry Flynn in Uncharted 2, one of my favourite games of all time. Twitch chat, taking strange men's rods on the side of the road since 2011. That doesn't even need to stop it. It's just exactly what happened in the game. Right, here we go. Felix is voiced by Greg Ellis, who comes back as a, in DA3. Oh, cool. Okay, so let's, uh, let's do this. I didn't realise he's voiced by Greg Ellis. I must be wrong then. Right, uh, okay, personal golem. Sounds cool. Best of luck to you then. Now, I guess it's up to me to find that mule myself. All right, so we've taken that man's rod, and now we're going to head down south. That was a stop it. Okay. Let's go down and find the uh, the Honleith. Loot the flowers. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I forgot to do that. We did, however, run into a fight. You took that man's rod. I did. Oh. How did a child survive that? The crater is still smoking. It's a boy. Five fingers, five toes. That's all that matters to me. This is Superman. The maker has answered our prayers. Let's go home, Marta. <laughs> and raise the tyke as our own. <laughs> Marta. Inst what? This is literally just Superman. Pile of ore. Meteor metal ore. I'll take that. So, what is this? Is this like another DLC bit? Is that another... Is that going to come and... Is that just a random Easter egg? Okay. Now Superman and Batman will fight. Excellent. Superman canonically exists in the Dragon Age universe. Good to know. Super rare Easter egg. Seriously. Okay. That ore becomes the best sword in the game. Are you being serious? Like, what did I just pick up? It was the uh, other, wasn't it? Was it the other? It was the crafting thing. Pretty sure I just took it, didn't I? Where was the random ore? Was it a plot item? Meteor metal ore. This hunk of rock fell from the sky, perhaps the last remnant of another world far off in the sky. If you could find a smith with the skill to temper it... Okay. Interesting. We've just got... Uh, 
Right. When you finish the Keep DLC, you can craft a weapon from it. Right, so we finished the Keep, and we actually might have an amazing weapon. Interesting. Very interesting. Let's get the... Oh. Okay, that's not good. Oh! That's not good either. Where are you guys running away from? Oh! Genlocks, don't you worry. We'll sort you right out, mate. Let's take you guys down. You know what? The reason I was worried about dying was because I was being attacked a lot in melee combat. If I'm going to use dual weapons, I might be able to rejig combat and use daggers melee style. That might be a thing I could do. There was a flower right behind you. Look. Oh, yeah. Elf fruit. I'm going to be really bad at collecting flowers. So you're going to have to be, uh, you're going to have to be on it a lot with me missing stuff. I can't believe there's so many dead bodies just hanging around here. Okay, we... Oh, you guys are fighting the Blight, are you? Oh, god damn. Okay, right. Right, okay, let's take care of these guys first. In fact, I'm going to take care of that dude and see if I... I mean, leave you guys to it for a second. Oh, bollocks, I did not mean to spawn more. I, I messed up, guys. I messed up. Okay, there was a problem. I made a real bad call here. And I may have summoned a lot more enemies than I intended to. That was a mistake. Let's attack this, uh, this person over here. See if I can stun them. Yep, knock them down. Yeah, that was a, that was a big old problem right there. Thankfully, because I'm a tactical genius and I set up all of my tactics, actually possible to survive. Look at that, see? Look at that. This game has wonderful moments of thriller and horror in side quest lines. I'm going to do as many side quests as I can. This is excellent. Now we run into attack more. Guys, we did it. We did it. And Alistair leveled up, you beautiful bastard. Interesting. Specialization champion, Templar. Oh, do you get more stuff when you unlock specialization things? What should he's a tank, so just constitution, to be honest. Dexterity to dodge, and then just constitution gives him life, doesn't it? Increases the amount of damage you can take. Just full on constitution build then. One more talent. Weapon and shield. Shield wall. It's sustained. Interesting. Significant armor. Yes, please. Alright, so Alistair, do we need to change your talents around now so you're always using Shield Wall? Is that a thing we need to make sure that's happening? So, Shield Wall just needs to be on, doesn't it? So, Shield Wall is always on. Fantastic. He forgot the strength again. It doesn't matter. You don't need to remind me about when I make mistakes. Okay? There's gonna, if you do that, we're just going to be... All this stream will be as you reminding me that I've messed up. Okay, so toxins, got some more of you stuff. What's over here? Let's loot some things. Let's find a golem. Key required. Alright, no no key then. I'm gonna miss Sven when he's gone. But if you guys are telling me this golem is worth it. Uh, fire arrow oh yes, please. Fire arrows. God damn, yeah, why not? Why would you not use fire arrows? A quick save the game. Need strength to wear big armor. Okay, what's the last thing Sven said that you even remember? I think he was unhappy with someone. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, let's. Uh... Okay, so that is a huge amount of enemies. So here's an idea. Can I use the item? Now, maybe? Quest item? Golem control rod? Is there a thing I can do something with? Can I... You can't put it on the thing. Have you got to kill the enemies first? Right. Okay, cool. Maybe what we should do, guys, is everyone fall back. Because this is way too many enemies to deal with right now. Everyone fall back. Come on, fall back. Fall back, fall back, fall back, fall back. And now we have all fallen back. Where are you, Sven? Sven, where are you, mate? No, what is it Alistair? Okay, come on, Sven. Back here. And now we fight. Okay. 
See, we, we bring the fight to us, reduce the amount of enemies we're taking at the same time. Now we all fight together. I'm going to try and lock some of these guys down as often as I can. Oh, good lord, that's a lot of enemies. Okay. I really want everyone to take this dude down first. And I think once this dude... You don't play Guild Wars 1 anymore. I've quit forever. I've told you this before. If I'm not playing the exact game that you ask about at the exact time, I quit forever. Is the AI good in this game? Yes, it is, Kane. That's what I'm really liking. And the great thing is the AI doesn't necessarily need to be good because you can control it. So what you've got is this tactic book. So the first thing you want them to do, the second thing you want them to do, the third thing you want them to do. So if an, any, if an ally's health is below 50%, Morrigan will heal them. Then if her own health is less than 75%, she'll use Drain Life. If there are any enemies around, she'll use Winter's Grasp on them. And if she's being attacked by a melee enemy, she'll use Mind Blast to push everything back. Which I think is really good. I was really happy with that. So Alistair, is, if his own health is below 50, he'll drink something. If He'll use Threaten, he'll use Shield Cover. Now we don't want Shield Cover, do we? We want the other thing. He's Yeah, we've, we've pretty much set these, these dudes up to do exactly what we want them to do at the same time. I hope he quits answering did you quit X game messages. Nope, never will. Never, ever, ever will. Just so you never win tonight's video, I agree with you. Oh, NASA, thank you for watching it, man. Thank you very much for watching, and I am... Um, it's it's a shame, isn't it? It really is a shame. Because I liked it. I like the game a lot. Wh what are you doing, guys? Why are you running... This is an ambush. This is 100% an ambush. You are literally running into an ambush right now. So let's not, Okay. Let's run into the ambush together. Let's make it a make it a family thing. We'll all do this at the same time. Everyone attack you. I quit sleeping. Will I quit Dragon Age Origins? I will. Eventually. Okay, so uh, there's a basket of bird seed just there. Basket of bird seed. Of course. The basket is almost empty. Most of the bird seed seems, seems to have something. And then I've missed it. All right, quick save. Shale, how's it going, dude? Okay, interesting. What we are looking at is a golem. It would appear it is defunct, though there may be a way to revive it yet. Golem. Not golem. Okay. Dulef Gar. Activate the golem. Nothing happens. Apparently, either the rod is not working or the code word is incorrect. Oh. I mean, I, I I thought it would. So, a golem. Right, the golem is unresponsive to the control rod and the command words you acquired from Felix. Perhaps there are still survivors in the village. Right, so I just got scammed. Just got 100... That dude basically just said trimming armour. That's what he said. He told me he was trimming armour. He told me he would cut my gems. And he didn't. He gave me... He gave me his rod and then lied to me. Why do men do this? What's in this chest? A battle axe requires 22 strength. Well, we can probably give that to someone at some point in the future. What's uh, what's down here? Let's go into this door. Hello, Mr. Mr. House. What's in here? Wilhelm's cellar. Oh, that's a lot of death. Okay, so you're dead, you're dead. What's that? Strange crystal. Of course. Small chip natural crystal. Obviously you'd take that. I mean who who wouldn't take a small random chipped crystal in a cellar? Another short bow, I don't need that. I'm using a long bow instead. They're objectively better. What's in here? Quick save the game in case there are enemies. And there are enemies. So be it. Okay, guys, no, stop it. Let them come to us. Come on, we've learned. We're better than this. Now we attack them. We let all the enemies come to us at once, and then we fight. And now we switch back and let the tactics take over. They do all their own stuff. I really do like the tactics stuff. It is definitely good tactics stuff. What a shame that we can't get, uh, can't get more enemies here. Come on, Herlock, take you down. 
I like the tactics view. It makes it very Baldur's Gate. This makes me happy. My secret weapon is hallways. Yeah, obviously. Secret hallway weapon. Let's run in here and attack you if I can. Let's attack you with the pinning shot if I can. Alright, we've pinned you down. Now we attack you. Come on, guys, in we go. Alistair's over there doing his thing. I'll take out this Genlock dude. I want to run a bit further in so I can see more. Morrigan, can you see anyone? Okay, so Morrigan can still see things. That's fine. I'm going to start using some knockdown attacks on these guys. Just to, uh, just to get them out of the fight for a second. And then my guys run up and join me. It's Jade Empire. Yeah, it's there. It's on the list. Trust me, the list of MMOs to play is absolutely huge. Just watch your Neverwinter video. Good job. Wonder if you'll ever cover Star Trek Online. I want to, yeah. It's on the list. The answer to every single MMORPG, as in will you cover it, is it's on the list. It's just a very, very long list. Okay, so there's a Darkspawn Longsword just there. Is that better than what Alistair's using? Let's have a look. So that his Longsword is Grey Iron, which is Tier 2. Do we have any Tier 2 stuff? Is this sorted by... Sort by newest, sort by type, I suppose. Longsword, that's tier 2. Darkspawn, tier 2. Requires 13 strength. Arm penetration up, dexterity down. No, we want uh, defense on this dude. This dude is fully defended. Let's pick some more stuff up. Gold and whatnot. They simplify the thief system. Doesn't work as well as it does in this game. Oh, okay. I like the, um, I like the, the stealing stuff in this oh, game. Yep. Taking more stuff, taking things. Is that like a tree root? That's a tree root that's grown through the uh, the base of the house. I quite like that. So that is this is the library. Nothing specific in here that we need. And what's through here? Oh, more stuff. Wilhelm's special brew. This dark coloured ale gives off a thick oaky smell. Interesting. Okay. Maybe. Maybe we should give Morrigan a, a beer, see if she wants to lighten up a bit, chill out, you know, have a bit of a drink, a bit of a chill. Level up. Oh yeah, you're all going to shout at me until I level up, aren't you? Do I level up dexterity? I think I do. So constitution up again. I'm not bothered about strength at all, but I am, you know, cunning. Does cunning... Herbalism is good. I'm not bothered about that. We'll go with dexterity. Level up dexterity to do even more damage. Hey, we've got another skill. I can make better traps. Improved coercion. There we go. Improved coercion. That's an important one. Cunning is good for rogues. Get the woman drunk. A certain tactic. <laughs> no. Okay, we'll go with coercion because coercion seems important. And i got to level up on my talent. Combat movement, deadly strikes, mechanical expertise the rogue has become to possess. Interesting. I can deal with locks or traps. Good. Let's go with locks and traps. So I can now open even more locks and traps. Combat training might have been more important right now. Now we're good with locks and traps, man. Right, what is here? Oh, jeez. Let's not. Okay, let's use our traditional tactic of running backwards until the enemy is all being funneled into one place. And then we attack. Okay, when we can run back, and I mean, I haven't leveled up Morrigan on purpose. I should have done that. Right, let's just run back, take on this Genlock dude here. Yeah, we're doing pretty good. What difficulty is this? This is normal. This is normal difficulty. Whoa, Alistair, guys, chill. Relax, all of you, okay? Hang back here. Hang back. Out of combat, out of sight, out of mind. No one needs to worry, because what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to get us some enemies, okay? Cannot stealth while in combat, that's fine. I'm going to get us some enemies if I can. Wait, can those guys even come down to me? I don't know if they can even come down to me. Okay, let's get... Right, now we've got their attention. Let's run away. Get their attention, run away. That's the plan. That's why I want to run away. 
to avoid stuff like giant fireballs that seem to be a bit of a problem. Now we can attack people. Now we attack stuff. Now we attack you. This is good. That was spicy. That was spicy, wasn't it? Okay, Sven's about to die. That's fine. It's not a problem. Sven's not important anyway. Now we attack this emissary dude here. Let's see if I can use my knockdown ability to stun him even more. Yep, multiple stuns. Sven can die. It's fine. We're going to use the golem anyway in a minute. It's stem can die. Finally, the content my second monitor deserves. I do try. Did he install a mod? Nope. This is absolutely vanilla. This is plain how the game is meant to play. Oh, okay. Look at all these people down here. Look at all this. wonder what this force field's all about. Interesting little force field. I wasn't expecting a force field. Has this village been attacked by something? Have we... Has what's happened? Of course. What's happened to the golem? That's the health booties, thank you very much. Oh, search right. this herlock. More money. You may not have used tactics mode zoomed out like this. It seems the village has been attacked. Well, I mean it's been attacked by Darkspawn, obviously, because I'm here now. Let's get some glowing crystals. Large chips, natural crystal. Requires 18 constitution, nature resistance. I will sell you for gold. Hey guys, what's going on? By the maker, we're saved. You weren't sent by the ban, were you? To save us. I have no idea who the ban is, mate. Um, I wasn't sent by anyone. So we could have just starved down here? The ban gave up on us? <laughs> I suppose I should be grateful that someone came at all, then. Thank you. But if you weren't sent by someone, why are you here? If you don't mind me asking. I was looking for whoever owned the statue outside. The statue outside? Why would... Oh, I think I see. You bought the control rod, didn't you? You came here looking for shale. Yeah. I, I did. I, I don't see what's wrong with that. Have I... Have I made a mistake? Can I go through the barrier? That damnable golem brought us nothing but trouble. My mother sold the rod years ago after it killed my father and good riddance. Okay, um... Killed your father? My father's name was Wilhelm. Mage to the Isles of Redcliffe and a hero in the war against Orlais. And what did he get? One day, my mother found him outside the tower. With so many broken bones, she could barely recognize him. And Shale standing over him, just like it is now. My father deserved better than that. But if you really want to wake Shale up, well, it's yours now. Yeah, except the rod doesn't work, mate. Nothing happened. My mother might have passed along the wrong command phrase when she sold the rod. She said she never wanted to see Shale active again. Look, I'll tell you the command phrase, but I'll need your help first. I know you already saved my life, and I'm grateful, but my daughter is inside the laboratory. She was afraid and, and ran too far in before I could stop her. I don't know how she made it past my father's defenses. One of the men tried to go after her. He was killed, but... You could find her, couldn't you? If there's one thing I am good at, it is promising to find people's daughters and then never doing that. So, yes, I will see if I can find her. You will? Thank the Maker! My father's laboratory is just past the next area, I think. She has to be there. I will put her in a cage with the blacksmith's daughter once I find her. Is this just going to be, eventually we save all of the daughters of everyone in Dragon Age and we don't do any of that? We promise we will, but then we don't. She's probably dead. We're going to quick save the game. I'm going to pop inside the laboratory. All right, sweet. And we go. Uh, what's that? So, well, it quick saved and then it auto saved. So I'm not, I'm not super duper, not super happy with this now. Elf root, death root. Elf root. Right. Fantastic. 
This looks like exactly the kind of place that you'd find a trap. Do I have to detect traps specifically? Or do they just, you know, if there's a trap there, you find it automatically? I'm hoping if there's a trap, you just find it automatically. Yeah, it's a passive thing. Okay, cool. Yeah, it's a passive thing. Oh, there's a lot. Oh, goodness me, Shades. We've dealt with you before. Okay, plan A. Retreat. Don't know what you think you're doing, mate, but you are coming back here with me. Plan A. Okay, now we attack. Very well. See? We get everyone in the thing, then we fight. So be it. And then I go to me. Plan A is always retreat. And then start swinging around and attacking the can. Plan A, doorway fighting. Yeah. Doorway fighting, straight up. Always the best choice. From what I can tell, anyway. Always the best choice. Let's attack you. Below the belt attacks if we can. Do a bit of uh, dirty fighting, knock you down. Attack. We are getting good. We are, I mean, I don't want to push my luck here. But I think we're getting pretty good. Taking down a dust wraith as well. Check it out. All right, guys. Just wrecked that room. Absolutely wrecked it. Tyrannosaurus wrecked right there. The Journal of Enchanter William. Enchantment? Okay, that's just lots of stuff. I will uh, read that at some point. What is in this chest? Injury kit, warmth balm, magic staff, iron. Okay, take all that. Magic Staff, you say? Is that good for Morrigan? So Magic Staff, Steel. Steel Tier 3 requires 20 magic. Would you rather have... Where's the Magic Staff? Iron Tier 1. Would you rather have something worse? She probably wouldn't. Okay? She probably wouldn't rather have something worse. Uh, quick save of the game. Now, just so you know, guys, if you are new to the stream, I have I've decided to do a new thing with timings as far as streaming goes. She'd rather level up. I'm going to leave that for now, but let me give you the reason. I have decided to make all of my streams exactly four minutes, twenty uh, four hours, twenty one minutes, and nine seconds long. Because if I do that, when I look at the time codes afterwards, it technically equates to four twenty sixty nine, which I think is quite funny. So. I will be doing, uh, right now, we're on 4 hours, 19 minutes, and 30 seconds. So I've been streaming for four, just under 4 and a half hours. Every Saturday stream, just under 4 and a half. Every Wednesday stream, just under 4 and a half. And Monday is the Tangent Tavern with Callum, and that's normally just uh, just, just uh, like 2 hours-ish. Okay, we'll level up, uh, we'll level up Morrigan. We're going to go with just pretty much magic, really. We don't need anything else. Just more magic. Magic increases spell power score, potency of spells. Oh, great. Okay, cool. We've got just lots of damage. Right, we're not doing shape-shifting. Shape-shifting seems pointless. Mage. Okay, the caster fires a sphere of magical energy. Can we do more healing? I kind of want better healing. Right. Grant them a short-term boost to mana or stamina regeneration. Regeneration, mass rejuvenation. All significantly increasing mana and stamina. So that's mana and stamina. Okay, greatly accelerating health regen. What about ice cone? Some of you have said the ice damage thing. Frost weapons. Cone of cold. So let's do frost weapons for the time being. And then we'll be able to do cone of cold afterwards. Okay? Cone of cold. Everyone's told me cone of cold is really powerful. So we'll do ice weapons. And then we'll get her cone of cold. If we turn ice weapons on... All of us are now doing special ice damage with our weapons, which seems like a good thing to do. All right, so we've got ice weapons going on as well. That seems like a good thing. Guys, it is four minutes, four hours and 21 minutes. Thank you very much for joining me. I will see you all on... What day is it today? Saturday. I'll see you on Monday. Take care. Good night. God bless.